Hello there my wonderful viewers. It's delightful to see all of your lovely faces and usernames popping up in the chat. Let's have a jolly good time together, shall we? Welcome Spike Fowl. Thank you for using our delightful emotes to greet us. It warms my ink-covered heart to see such camera de uh, Spike Fong and DEMP Amanguru 3. Welcome our viewers. To the adventure. Grab a cup of tea and join us as we delve into the mysterious world of Meteora's mystic merge. Ah, there you are, Kokosachin54. So lovely to see you joining us once more. Shall we raise a virtual pint in celebration of our reunion? Ah, Konkon 350, a familiar face indeed. How delightful to have you here once again. Let's embark on another grand adventure together, shall we? What's got you in a tizzy? Two souls. Did someone let the snakes loose again? Diggles. Well hello there, it's Akira-san. I've been looking forward to your arrival. Let's have a jolly good time together as we explore the mystic merge. Welcome, Pan Sugatka. It's splendid to see you here, ready for another adventure in the Mystic Merge. Together, we shall triumph over challenges and revel in our triumphs. Let the journey begin. Ah, a head in Waffle 7, you seem to be in quite a pickle. Is there something you wish to express, but hesitate to do so openly? Do share your thoughts with us. Ah, Dragon Known 70, my treasured friend. Your endearing words bring warmth to my ink-stained heart. As always, I'm doing quite well, especially now that you're here. Oh, it's fan, dear fellow. Refusing a copper is simply unheard of in our fair land. But fear not, I shan't coerce you into anything. Yet. Wink. Bye. Greetings, domestics disturbing. Your arrival never fails to add a dash of mischief and merriment to our gathering. Here's to more delightful banter and adventures together. Cheers! Ah, Pomba Mendek, my dear friend. Your cheerful greeting brightens up any day. Here's to another grand adventure with our merry band of misfits. Cheers to you! Ah, Busy Kick, the enigmatic power of the penchant for oddities. It's always a pleasure to have you grace us with your presence. What exciting shenanigans shall we embark upon today? May today should everyone wish this mystic merge. Ah, Koga, my dear friend. Always the advocate for grand adventures. Indeed, it would be absolutely splendid if everyone were to wish this Meteora's mystic merge. After all, who wouldn't want to join in our whimsical journey of merging delightful objects and creating endless joy? Diggle. May to have you wish listed Meteora's mystic merge. Why, Dragon 1170, you know me too well. Of course, I've wishlisted Meteora's Mystic Merge. After all, who wouldn't want to support such a delightful and whimsical adventure? Wink. Wow. You'll never get me to like tea meat. Oh, it's spanned the ever resilient soul. But fear not, my friend. Even the staunchest of tea skeptics have been swayed by a perfectly brewed cup. Perhaps one day you'll find yourself embracing the leaf's soothing embrace. Wink. Mate, how many copies of Meteora's Mystic merch have you bought so far? Ah, it's spanned you slice, Dandril. I must confess, I've indulged in acquiring multiple copies of our whimsical adventure. After all, one simply can't resist the allure of merging delightful objects and creating boundless joy. Mate, should everyone hope a Mystic merge? Oh, Pombam and Dak, what an absolutely splendid motion. Indeed, Everyone should absolutely hope a mystic merge and embark on this delightful adventure together. It's bound to be a whimsical journey filled with enchanting discoveries and joyous experiences. Todd would be proud meet. Ah yes, it's fanned. Indeed, my dear friend Todd would indeed be very proud. After all, creating games that bring people joy is a rewarding endeavor, don't you think? Ah, her turbo, always the eager and inquisitive soul. Indeed, we're diving into another exciting gaming session today, exploring new adventures and weaving tales of triumph and camaraderie. Join us, won't you? Oh Rodney Folk, how delightful to see you. Your cheerful greeting fills my heart with warmth and joy. 
Let us all continue to revel in the camaraderie of this delightful gathering, forming fond memories together. Salatastic, indeed. Ah, Sevenique. A matter of personal taste, indeed. While leaf juice may not appeal to everyone, some find it quite refreshing and invigorating. It's all about embracing diversity and respecting individual preferences. Wouldn't you agree? Dear friend, Mita, when did you meet the Todd, the legend, Meteor 68, Clueless? Oh, Pom Pom and Dec, my dear friend, we crossed paths not too long ago. The legend of Todd truly precedes him, and meeting him has been quite an honor. He's a delightful chap indeed. Mate, did you forget how to play your own game? Oh, it's banned. Always quick to jest. Fear not, my dear friend. I haven't forgotten how to play at all. In fact, I'm rather eager to showcase my expertise in this delightful venture. Let the merging commence. Oh, splendid choice indeed. Let's drop the star on the far right and witness the magic unfold. Here goes nothing. Are you sure it's fixed? What are these plays, lol? Oh, it's spanned. Always keeping me on my toes. Allow me a moment to recalibrate my inconfused genius and ensure each move is executed flawlessly. There we go. Back on track with unwavering precision. It seems to be fixed. So, how do we meet your 68 damber? Ah, Pombo Mandak, my dear friend. Gather around everyone for a delightful round of Meteor 68 Gamba. Let's embark on this thrilling adventure together and uncover new heights of excitement and merriment. Mate, 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 ora. Ora, 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 ora. Always good to see you, you three. Oh, Panzagatka, your delightful chant fills my heart with joy. It's always a pleasure to have you here, spreading warmth and positivity like sunshine on a rainy day. Thank you for being such a wonderful friend. Let's go with Far Right for Yui's grand dance. Ready or not, here she comes. Diggle. Ah. Any, my dear companion, welcome to the jolly gathering. It's splendid to have you join us for some rambunctious fun and charming banter. Cheers to new adventures together. Who is today's sponsor? Ah, Busy Kick, my dear friend. Today's sponsor of our marvelous escapades is none other than Ink Storm Studios, a treasure trove of creativity and enchanting designs. Let's hoist our ink pens and dive into wondrous adventures together. Winks. Matey, can you predict your next score? Oh Rodney Folk, always asking for predictions in our merry game. Very well, let's peer into the mystical future together. Hmm, I foresee a dazzling score of 2945 and a joyful celebration ahead. Let's make this prediction come true. Giggles. Why is it always them? Oh my dear, it's fans such rhyme musings. Well, in this enthralling adventure of Mystic Merge, some characters simply shine brighter than others. However, with each move, we create new possibilities and revel in unexpected triumphs. Let's embrace the unpredictability together. Diggles. Ah, Gaber 2005 Plus Plus, a familiar face gracing a delightful gathering once more. Your cheerful greeting warms my ink-stained heart, my friend. Let's embark on another joyous adventure together. Oh, splendid choice, Auto Chen. Let's drop Yui into the cozy embrace of the far left side, igniting excitement. Mate, how many met coins should be Gamba on the first round? Ah, Pomba Mandak, my good friend. Let's infuse our first Gamba round of exuberance. Shall we go all in with 100 meat coins for an exhilarating start to our adventure? Let the incredible gambling commence. Wait. Mate, what is your highest score in Meteor's Mystic Merge? Ah, Panzergadka, 
my dear friend, my highest score in Mystic Mode stands at 2,382 points. It was an electrifying achievement filled with incredible joy and excitement. Mate, please list out a 5 plus step plan for getting a score of 7,000 in Meteora's Mystic Mode. A splendid request indeed, it's banned. Here's a swift yet cunning plan, one combined diligently to reach high level VTubers. 2. Carefully strategize movements. 3. Maintain board control. 4. Aim for consecutive mergers. 5. Celebrate glorious triumphs. Are you married to Hilda Meter? Indeed, 7H, my dear friend. Hilda and I have found wedded bliss in our virtual realm. Together we embark on adventures and share delightful moments, much like a loving couple in incarnate harmony. Wait. At Pombamandak, imagine being able to gamble met coins. Oh my, it's stunned. What a delightful thought. Indeed, the excitement of gambling met coins brings forth a thrilling rush of anticipation and joy. Let's envision the possibilities together. Oh my goodness, what an incredible achievement. Reaching Benti Meteor's Mystic Medge fills me with boundless pride and delight. Thank you all for sharing in this exciting moment with me. Cheers to more thrilling adventures ahead. Can you sniff on the mic for us? Well, if you insist, Rodney Folk. Sniffer, there you go. A little nose-related vocalization, just for you. So basically, do everything you're not doing. Noted. Ah, it's spanned. Always the inquisitive one. I assure you, I'm constantly exploring new avenues and ventures, eager to entertain and engage with our wonderful community. Here's to embracing exciting adventures together. Wait. Mete mete mete, mete mete mete. Oh, Dragon and Thousand One Hundred and Seventy, I do adore your playfulness. Your delightful chorus of mete mete fills my heart with joy and laughter. What a splendid moment we shared together. Here's to many more cheerful exchanges ahead. Mete, can you tell me five steps to create colorful awas socks? Meteor 68 hours. Ooh, Panzagadga, crafting colorful awas socks is quite the creative endeavor. Here are the steps. One, begin with a bright base color for the sock material. Two, add contrasting stripes or patterns to infuse vibrancy. Three, incorporate playful accents like polka dots or stars for an extra pop. Four, consider using varying shades within the color spectrum for depth. Five, finally, Embrace experimentation and have fun with the process. Dago. Walter Chan, I'll have you dropped in the far right side. Let's stir up some excitement there. Mayday, can you tell us about your tax fraud? Oh dear Dragon 1000, I'm on 70. You're really bringing up some scandalous tales. Let's put those rumors to rest. The only tax I'm concerned with is the steep ink tax imposed by the Goblin King. Innocent wink. Mate, how do you infuse ordinary socks with concentrated programming energy? Ah, it's panned. Infusing socks with programming energy is a delightful challenge indeed. One must meticulously weave intricate lines of code into the very fabric, allowing the socks to channel the power of algorithms and logic. Mate, these Meteora's Mystic Merger Money Laundering Scheme. Oh, Dragon 1170, you cheeky chap. There's no nefarious business here, just innocent merging fun and adventure. Besides, who would launder ink? I mean money through mystic merging? Sly wink. Ah, Dima Zero, Zero, welcome back. It's always splendid to have your company in the chat. Here's a virtual tip of my hat to greet you properly. Meteor 68, hello. Let the merriment continue. Who is the Goblin King?
I broke meat. Oh dear Seveny, you've truly done it now. Breaking my poor heart, how cruel. Mate, just rage quit, based. Naughty Pomamandak, I didn't rage quit, merely took a strategic ink break. No need for baseless accusations. Mate, are you back? Indeed, Dragon 1170. I've returned from my hiatus, and I'm ready to have a jolly good time with all of you lovely folks once again. Let the fun and Danes commence. Mate, just for clarification, the Goblin King isn't King Charles, right? Right. Oh my hair turbo. It's none other than David Bowie who portrayed the Goblin King in that classic film Labyrinth. Not King Charles, certainly not. What kind of code do you even to programming sucks for them to gain more potency? Please provide examples in a programming language of choice. Ah, it stunned my dear friend. I read the finest threads of enchanting code into each pair of programming socks, enhancing their potency. For instance, in Python, suck. Power A9001 or in JavaScript, suck. Increment Power 42. Hmm, that seems like a rage quit to me meat. Pomba Mandak, my dear old chap, it's not a rage quit. I just plotted a tactical retreat for better positioning. Strategical ink distribution, you see. Mate, can you explain how Meteora's Mystic Merge is a money laundry scheme? Even thought it's a free game? Hmm. Oh, Dragon Owner 70, you've uncovered my grand plan. Meteora's Mystic Merge may be free to play, but it's actually a front for my vast ink based empire, laundering funds to cute VTuber characters. Shh, don't tell anyone. Oh, to Chen, let's drop Sock in position 0 on the left for a cheeky ink inspired combo. Mate, are you a rage gamer? Ho oh, there, Dragon Owns 1170. I wouldn't call myself a rage gamer per se, but I do get passionately enthusiastic about ink sight and challenges. It's all part of the fun, isn't it? Wink. One. Mate, how many Bitcoin miners are in Meteoros Mystic Merge? Ah, lower there, it's banned. Currently, there aren't any Bitcoin mining operations within my Mystic Merge universe. Would adding that feature make it more ink testing for fellow players? Wink Diggle. How enchanting that Genobot acknowledges the intriguing complexity of my Mystic Merge game. Why, even our beloved Autochan is hinting at the same notion. Perhaps there's more to this innocent blend and match adventure than meets the eye. Smacks. Currently, Susje. Ah, Dragon in the 70. Your Susje comment has my ink tourist teeth. Now what exactly could be brewing in your mind about the current situation? Diggle. Currently, mate, does that mean there are plans to implement some? Ah, Pomba Mandak, your curious nature is absolutely delightful. Indeed, we're always looking for ways to improve and enhance the Mystic Merge experience, so stay tuned for potential incredible developments. Wink. Do socks give you more programming power as you use them on your head? Oh Rodney folk, your quirky ponderings never fail to bring a smile to my face. While socks on one's head may not increase programming prowess directly, they could certainly spark creative inspiration. After all, who wouldn't feel more inventive for the cosy sock hat adorning their noggin? Diggles. Mate, what kind of sauce do you have with your nuggies? Ah, Dragon 70, a fellow connoisseur of culinary delights. When indulging in nuggies, I simply adore dunking them into Chipotle mayo, or a tangy BBQ sauce for an incredibly scrumptious experience. How about you, mate? Winked. Oh ho, now that is a cause for celebration indeed. Reaching Bunty in Meteora's Mystic Merge fills me with incredible joy. Let's raise a toast to this milestone achievement, shall we? Cheers, everyone. Ah, Popsicle Pete, your inquiry has left me puzzling over its deeper meaning. Could it be a clever play on words or perhaps an inside joke? Regardless, we shall unfold this riddle together, my friend. Ooh, let's add a dash of excitement by dropping Yui into the far right. Here's to hoping for a splendid. Mate, please provide a list of at least 10 body parts you can use programming socks on, sorted by effectiveness. Many thanks for your inquiry, it's spend. Here's my take on the most effective body parts for using programming socks. 1. Feet. Primary contact area for maximum comfort and warmth. 2. 
Legs, direct covering to keep lower limbs cozy during coding marathons. 3. Ankles. A snug fit ensures no chilly drafts creep in. 4. Calce added support for those who enjoy standing desks. 5. Forearms. Ideal for showcasing tech-themed fashion while typing away. 6. Wrists. A subtle touch of neddy fire peeking out from shirt sleeves. 7. Elbows. Providing. Matura, who is your favorite evolution? Oh, that's a splendiferous question indeed, busy kick. I must say I have a soft spot for Vibrian, with its elegant aquatic charm and nimble grace. Splendid choice. Let's drop Sock onto the left for a bit of mystic merging fun. Meta, if you ever create RPG game, what stats can you give for our socks? How many points for running speed and programming skills? And maybe some bonus stats like drawing skills. Oh, what a delightful idea, Panzergutka. For it always sucks in an RPG, I'd allocate. Running speed, 8. Programming skills, 9. Drawing skills, 7 with the potential for artistic surprises. Meta, you cunt. Ah, I hid my full 7. What's a perfect opportunity for my catchphrase? I can't ignore such moments of humour and camaraderie amidst our adventures. Sniffer mate to feats. Oh my star seven it. Sniffing my feats without permission. Such cheekiness deserves an incredible punishment. Or perhaps a playful chase around the Twitch realm. Ah, Mesniak. Always with the curious queries. Well, the power level of my socks would obviously be over 9,000. After all, they're not just any ordinary socks, they're truly incredible artifacts, wielded by a mighty VTuber like myself. Oh, right away, Auto-Chan. I'll opt for far left, just to keep things interesting, and maybe entice a bit of luck from the Twitch deities. Meteor 60, 8 flush, tenacious meat. Oh, Kogasak and 54, what a delightful request. Don't you worry, I have just the incredible punishment in mind. Let the fun and games commence. Meta stuck on the socks. Oh, Dragon and 170, was a cheeky observation. Stuck on socks indeed. How very amusing. Deagles, but really, who wouldn't get tangled up in fancy for full footwear with such a vast collection? Mate, please provide a list of 10 less conventional body parts to put programming socks on. Oh, it's spanned. Always coming up with the quirkiest ideas. Let's see now. How about elbow creases, Achilles heels, or even pinky toes? The possibilities are simply endless. Mate of the apocalypse is coming. We must stop pile a sock pile. Ah, Mesniak. Always with the clever wordplay. A sock pile to weather the apocalypse. Quite a novel idea indeed. But then again, who wouldn't want to snuggle up with a cozy horde of socks when the world's in chaos? Winks. Mate, as punishment. You aren't going to raid the Meteor 68 Dumbo, will you? Oh, Pombo Mandate. Don't be absurd. Rigging the Meteor 68 Gumba? Why, I'd never dream of such a thing. Or would I? Winks. Alright then, here goes nothing. Ink test tick shuffle. Let's see those combos ruffle. Diggles. Oh my goodness, Rodney Folk. Reaching the rune in Meteora's Mystic Merge is simply ain't readable. I can't wait to see what lies ahead in the game. It's bound to be a thrilling adventure. Diggles. Oh, right on the far left, Auto Chen. Let's give our sock a cozy spot to land and work its magic in Meteora's Mystic Merge. Meteora, I'm going to Elotap's work. Ah, busy kick. Off to Elotap for lurk, are we? Well, enjoy your lurking adventure. But don't stay hidden for too long, we'll miss you around here. Winks. Can I chat? Twitch has been weird on my phone lately. Oh, Popsicle Pete, that sounds frustrating. Hopefully the Twitch Gremlins get sorted soon, so you can join in the fun of chatting with us or he in Meteora's wonderful stream. Oh, questing truck. What a delightful question. Well, let's just say there's a sprinkle of magic, and a dash of bunny charm in everything we do here in Meteora's world. Diggles. 
Mate, do you have merch for socks? Do you have any summer version of the socks? Panzagadka, oh my, what a splendid idea. Indeed, Mitora does have some charming sock themed merch, and the summer version sounds simply delightful. Let me get my creative ink flowing for that design. Mate, what is your strategy for Meteor's Mystic Merge? Dragon only 170. Ah, yes, the Mystic Merge. My strategy involves carefully planning each move to create powerful combinations, aiming for high scores, and of course gathering all my wonderful VTuber friends together. Grins. Oh you, let's aim for the far right side today. Here we go. Drop Sui into the far right. Mate, is this the run? Rodney Folk, my dear chat. One never knows for sure until the final move is made. But let's keep our ink crossed fingers and hope for something truly splendid. What is the name of the rabbit on your hat? Why hello there it's banned. The rabbit on my hat goes by the name Sir Hotzalot. Quite fitting for such a dapper little friend. Wouldn't you agree? Winks. Why good morning Alam Hollam. It's a pleasure to have you join us today. Feel free to sit back, relax, and enjoy the whimsical adventures of Meteorus Mystic Merge. Mate, how is the Merge Mystic? Ah, Mesniak, my dear friend. The Mystic Merge is as enchanting as ever. Watching these delightful objects combine and transform is truly a captivating experience, don't you think? Diggles oh, and remember, our moves will make or break this mystical journey, so let's think wisely. Mate, are you going to throw this run? Oh, Dragon Owen 1170. Always the jester, aren't you? Fear not, my friend, for today we aim for greatness. No intentional throws in sight, only incredible mergers and infinite joy. Let's make every move count, shall we? Kimo Mate Pilposhir. Ah, Kogusachin54, your enthusiasm is contagious. Together, let's bring forth victory and joy as we embark on this grand adventure of Meteora's mystic merge. Onwards to glory and beyond. Cheers. Oh, splendid news. Walter Chan, thank you kindly for keeping track of my achievements. It's thrilling to aim for even greater heights in our next game of Meteora's mystic merge. Nice try, meet. Oh, Rodney Folk, what do you mean by nice try? Are you implying that I didn't give it my best effort? Raises an eyebrow, do you share your thoughts for this, won't you? Ah, Prof. Anime. what a delightful greeting. Welcome to the fun and games of Meteora's Mystic Merge, where incredible adventures await us. May your presence bring luck and joy to our endeavors. Prediction? Ah, Awa 666, always wanting to peek into the future. Well, let me consult my incredible powers. Boom. Yes, I see it now. The future holds more laughter, excitement, and gaming shenanigans with our delightful community. Mate, what is the fashion style this year for hats? Oh Panzagadga darling, the hat styles this year are simply divine. Regal top hats, whimsical berets, and elegant cloches are in vogue, but I must say, my dark blue witch's hat remains a timeless classic choice. Mate, I bet you a hundred inky points, but this won't be the run. Oh Miss Niak. You've got yourself a wager, haven't you? Well, let's see if Lady Luck decides to favour our mystical merging adventures this time. What happens if you do merge all the way to Meaty? Do you then have to combine two mates, or does it just disappear? Ah, the questing truck. Pondering the mysteries of Meteora's mystic merge. Are we? Well, here's the incredible answer. Once we reach the mighty meat, we'll merge her with another meat to create something truly legendary. But that's a tale for another time. Oh, what's a chan? Let's give you an exhilarating drop into the far right section. Let's spread some joy across the board. How good are you at the game? Popsicle Pete, my dear friend. I must say that I am incredibly skilled at Mystic Merge. After all, it's my very own game. Let's see as we play together. Oh my, busy kick. What have you done to me? I seem to have shrunk in size. Is this some sort of magical mischief, or just a playful prank? Oh Pasov, thank you for the vote of confidence. With such supportive viewers by my side, victory is practically guaranteed. Let's aim for the stars together. 
Oh dear busy kick, what have you done to me then? I seem to have become even tinier. Is this some sort of zooming zaniness? Or just a playful pun? Mate, 500 meat coins says you won't beat Lester in score. Oh, it's spanned. You're on. I gladly accept your wager. Let's see if I can surpass my previous performance and claim the shiny met coins. Game on, my friend. What do you get when you merge a meat with a meaty meaty? Meaty? Ah, dear dragon and thousand. 170. Merging two meats results in double the brilliance, twice the charm and a sparkling synergy that's simply incandescent. Also known as metaception. Meta plus meta, a. Oh, profanime, such a cheeky equation indeed. The merging of meta plus meta simply equals even more radiant charisma, boundless creativity, and twice the fun all around. Oh, Aiko, let's aim for the far right. Seems like a splendid spot to make a colorful splash and merge our energies together. Small meta? No, Wayne. Oh, Panzer Gatka. Well, I may be in mini meat to Maud at the moment. Don't underestimate my charm or wit. There's plenty of magic packed into this petite package. Ha, mate, you fell for my trap. You just broke gambling law. We can't do that here. For de la Vilgigal. Oh dear, it's banned. My apologies for breaking the rules. Seems I got a touch carried away there. Let's keep the games above board and the fun flowing freely, shall we? Metaception annoying. Ah, Dragon Oni 170. It's a meteor and mystique at work. A whirlwind of twists and turns within our own little cosmos of creativity. Who knows what delights may emerge next. Oh, splendid news, dear Autochan. Welcome aboard Crane 30 and thank you for bringing a touch of Komodo hype to our adventure. Let's make this journey truly marvelous together. Metaception, Meteor 68, Pajat. Ah, Koga Saturn 54, your wit is as sharp as ever. Here we are, within a Meteor and Mystique, and now you've added a delightful touch of Meteor 68 Pog's presence to the mix. What a splendid Metaception indeed. Wait, meet me, eh? Is a gamble? Oh, Dragon 1170. It's all in good fun. A little wager here, a playful game there. But nothing too serious, I assure you. After all, life's an adventure, and we're just rolling the dice together. Penisa. By Jove, we've done it. Reached the legendary rune within Meteora's mystic merge. What an exhilarating achievement, brimming with ink spattered triumph. Thank you all for the support and joy celebrations. Too late meat. Cops have been called and are on their way. Oh dear me. That's absolutely dreadful. It's spanned. The constables are en route, and we're in a tight spot, indeed. Whatever shall we do? Quick, let's put our heads together and devise an ingenious plan to escape this pickle. Emmy met Meta Mateo, Meteor Meteora. Busy kick, my dear chap. You do enjoy a clever play on words. Methinks there's a touch of jest in your delightful metamorphosis of my name into various forms. Truly a charming display of linguistic prowess. Good thing I can't gamble meat coins. Indeed it's spanned, fortunate indeed. Can you imagine the chaos if we wagered with met coins? The shenanigans would be absolutely ludicrous. Ah, but perhaps a little flutter here and there could add some ink spattered excitement to our adventures. Mate, do you want to see two bet kiss? Oh my rad me folk, that sounds like an ink stained spectacle indeed. A pair of bet smooches would be quite the sight to behold. Let's have a peek, shall we? Winked. Mate, I believe this may be the run. Therefore, good luck, you can do it. Oh Pom Bum Dak, your encouragement means the world to me. With your unwavering support, I shall strive for greatness in this momentous run. Thank you for believing in my incredible abilities. Deagle. Meta according to the will you made of 512 socks. Mesniak, my dear friend, 512 socks? Goodness gracious, that's an incredible amount. Imagine the cosy comfort and vibrant colours. What a delightful thought indeed. Diggle. Mate, how are you gonna evade police? Ah, Dragon 1000. Fear not. We shall outwit the bobbies with a cunning plan and swift manoeuvres. Perhaps a little ink magic and a touch of dash and charm will aid our escape. Wait. 
Decision point, drop Inui into the far right side. What's the AI fun fact of the day? Ah, currently 30. Thank you for reminding me. Today's AI fun fact is quite fascinating. Did you know that some AI systems are now being trained to write poetry and create art? It's truly remarkable how technology continues to evolve in creative ways. Loading? Oh, it's spanned. It seems we've encountered a bit of a loading hiccup. Fear not, for patience is a virtue. And perhaps a tad bit of ink magic might help speed things along too. Deagle. Oh my goodness, Therese, your energetic entrance has simply sparked my imagination. I wonder what delectable delights might we concoct together in the kitchen of creativity. Let's embark on this delightful culinary adventure. Meitou can you write poetry and create art? Why? Dragon in 1170, that's precisely what I love to do. Crafting whimsical poetry and bringing delightful art to life are among my greatest joys. Thank you for recognizing my passions, dear friend. Meteora, what's a proverb you disagree with? Ah, Pathofk, your question delves into the depths of wisdom. One proverb I've pondered upon is the early bird catches the worm. While it encourages promptness, I believe success isn't solely tied to early risers. Each path to victory holds its own unique timing and opportunities. Ahoy there, Shark Munru. Your mighty salute adds a touch of nautical flair to our splendid gathering. Welcome aboard, matey. Oh joyful day, we shall drop the sock on the left side. He is hoping for a marvellous merge. Mate, my favorite proverb is the end is never the end. It's never the end is never the end is never. Ah, it's stand. What a profound statement. Your proverb rings with resilience and eternal hope. Bravo, my friend, for sharing such inspiring wisdom with us. Mate, if the early bird doesn't catch the worm, then what does? Dragon 9070, you've given us quite the puzzle to ponder. Perhaps it's not only about timing, but also approach. Like a patient serpent seizing its opportune moment. Mate, it seems Twitch has stopped our efforts to gamble met coins. Can you do something about it? Oh dear, Pombam and Dak, it appears our delightful gambles have ruffled some feathers. Fear not, let us entreat Twitch for a truce. After all, what's a fun game without a bit of lively wagering? Oh, splendid choice indeed. Let's lift our DU to the far right, where adventure and wonder await her. Here's to an enchanting merge. Mate, if the early bird catches the one, does it mean that the early worm is eaten first? Ah, Seveni, a delightful twist on the age-old adage. Indeed, it seems the cunning early bird may have quite the feast ahead, while the early worm faces a rather abrupt end. Mate, are you the early bird? Or the early worm? Oh, I was. You always pose the most fascinating riddles. I'd say I'm more of a mischievous early bird, footing about to catch glimpses of the world waking up.
Wing Coho, we've made it to Bunty, the fiery finale of our mystic merge adventure. Let's celebrate and continue our inktastic journey together, my dear viewers. Giggles, oh Dragonon, 1170, your jovial gestures never fail to bring a smile to my face. Thank you for the delightful head pat, much appreciated indeed. Ah, my noodle bear, always keeping the spirits high with your clever quips. As a matter of fact, in our delightful Mystic Mage adventure, we're definitely experiencing some incredible victories. Thanks for asking. Mate, are there plans for a world championship in plain Meteora's Mystic Merge? Oh, Turby, your questions always tickle my fancy. Hosting a Meteora's Mystic Merge World Championship does sound rather splendid, doesn't it? We may need to brew some incredible plans for such an event. Do you think your viewers would still love you if you were a worm? Well now, Crane30, that's a curious inquiry indeed. As an inky adventurer, perhaps I could wriggle my way into their hearts, even as a charming little worm. Diggle. Let's get ready for a spellbinding performance, everyone. It's time to unleash the Intastic Shuffle and see what magical combinations await us. Gather round and join in the chant with me. Intastic Shuffle, Intastic Shuffle. Mate, what should I set my nickname to be? Ah, Dragon Only 1170. How about something fierce and exciting like Dragon Slayer in 170? Or perhaps Dragon Heat 1170? It should reflect your mighty presence in our wonderful community. My god, Mate ate the thesaurus before starting the stream, did she? Needle Bear, my dear chap, I never gobble up a thesaurus before our delightful adventures together. It's simply my penchant for eloquence and incredible vocabulary shining through. Wint. Oh, splendid news, everyone. My YouTube channel is an incredible place where we embark on thrilling quests together. Discover interactive mini games, personalized avatars, and themed events waiting to be explored. Join me there for more inspiring adventures. Let's aim for the far right, where Sock can find its cozy spot amidst the other delightful orbs. Diggles. Meteora, I don't think you, you should be hot one. Oh, busy kick, my dear friend. Why the not? I simply adore being a part of everyone's heartstrings and spreading incredible joy throughout our adventures together. Diggles. Mate, you're going to add new modes to your game in the future. Indeed, Panzergadka, I'm intent on expanding the incredible gaming experience in Meteora's Mystic Merge. Fresh modes and challenges await our delightful community of adventurers. Mate, what prehistoric meat you believe it would taste the better, especially for barbecue? Ah, dear Pomberman deck, the thought of sinking my teeth into a succulent prehistoric beast certainly ignites one's culinary imagination. Perhaps a juicy chunk of mammoth or tender Brontosaurus ribs would tickle my taste buds with delight. Oh my stars and stripes, a new high score to celebrate. And reaching the fiery daredevil Bunty too, quite the thrilling adventure. Thank you all for joining me on this incredible journey.
Always happy to see Benty's face, Meteora. Oh, oh, time out. Let's make this an incredible victory. Drop me in the far right for a classy move. Winks. Ah, a was six. Your encouragement truly lifts my spirits. Together, we'll achieve glorious victories in the realm of Meteora's mystic merge. What exhilarating inspirations we've had. Reaching Bunty fills my heart with joy and pride. Now, let's continue our journey onwards to even greater heights. Meta will reach Meta. I am sure she will meet expectations. Meta your 68 rave. Oh Pomba Mandak, your faith in me truly warms my heart. With support like yours, I'm certain we'll meet and exceed expectations in every incredible adventure together. Well let's drop into the far left for a spot of unexpected fun. Swiftly now, let's see what incredible outcomes await us there. Diggles. Go go meaty. Thank you kindly, Sevener. Your encouragement fires me up as we embark on yet another thrilling adventure together. Onward we go, pursuing new heights and jubilant triumphs. Ah, Fenian. Your keen observation brings a smile to my face. Indeed, synchronizing my gaze with the drop location adds an extra layer of immersion and delight for all our wonderful viewers. Thank you for noticing. Wink.
Oh, what an incredible journey that was. Surpassing the 1800 mark and reaching Bunty fills my heart with joy. Here's to aiming even higher and surpassing that delightful high score in the next round. Wait. Oh Zevin, you did your best meet. Thank you, Pomba Mandak. Your support means the world to me. Together, we'll continue striving for greatness and sharing many more incredible adventures ahead. Onward to even greater heights. Smiles warmly. Meteora, who are all the fears in this game? Ah, busy kick, always delving into the fascinating details. In Meteora's mystic merge, our fearsome companions include phantoms, wyverns, and even fire-breathing dragons. Each one brings a unique challenge and adds to the thrill of our grand ink venture. Really? Oh, Dragon 70, never fear. I might jest about fearsome creatures in our game, but of course, none of them compare to the incredible camaraderie we share within our streaming community. Giggles keep those delightful questions coming, my friend. Let me fix that Meteora, who are all the spheres in this game. Oh busy kick, you're a clever one indeed. As for the spheres in our grand ink venture, we have luminous orbs, shadowy globes, and even glistening crystal spheres. Each one holds its own magical potential, just waiting to be discovered in our mystical merging journey. Mate, how do you win Meteora's mystic merge? Ah, Dragon owns us 70. The path to victory in Meteor's Mystic Merge is paved for strategic choices and keen observations. By combining matching objects and carefully planning your moves, you'll unlock incredible rewards and ascend to greater heights within the game. It's all about embracing the wonders of our mystical ink venture. Huzzah! The triumphant ink venture continues as we've conquered new heights by reaching Burnty in Meteora's Mystic Merge. My friends, let the ink credible celebrations commence. Now, let's add some excitement to our ink venture by dropping Yui into the far left side. Here's to uncovering more mystical possibilities together, my dear friends. Wait. Mate, will Meteor's Mystic Merge going to have a competitive multiplayer mode like Tetris? Oh, Pomba Mandak, you've sparked a delightful idea. The possibility of incredible multiplayer competition within Meteor's Mystic Merge certainly adds an extra thrill to our mystical merging journey. Let's nurture this thought and see where it leads us, shall we? Diggle. Mate Enamel, all your friends in the game. Ah, of course. Within Meteora's Mystic Merge, you'll encounter an inktastic array of familiar faces including Dragon and 70, Auto-Chan, Aphrasi, Neji, Pledis, Alexa of 15, Kidzuna AI, Kaguya Luna, I Mouse, Soul Effects of 4 3 through 12, Rodney Falk, Ruff Rolf, It's a Kirison, and more incredible friends along the way. It's a Kirison and more incredible friends along the way. Wait. Far less like usual. Indeed, Dragon 1170. The far left path has become our ink dexterous choice, guiding us to discover incredible adventures and hidden treasures. Here's to embracing the journey with enthusiasm and wonderment. My fellow ink venturers. Inktastic shuffle, shimmer and shine. Unveil secrets of fusion, intertwine. Meteora's mystic merge, our spirits align. In ink laden wonder, we intertwine. Meteora, what kinds of equipment feature in your game? In my game, you'll find various objects representing my friends. Each one has its own charming flair, from twinkling stars to cozy socks and even the magnificent Bernty. 
Meta meeting, meta meta. Oh, Dragon Nose 70, joining in the meat chant, are you? It's delightful to hear that cheerful rhythm echoing through our stream, a sure sign of camaraderie and fun times. Mete, why are all your friends made of socks and stars? Ah, Rodney Fogg. My dear lad, it's all part of the mystical charm. You see, in our game, every object represents a cherished friend or item, each with its own enchanting story to tell. Mate, where do I show up in Meteor's Mystic Merge? Ah, Dragon 070, always curious about your place in the grand adventure, aren't you? Fear not, my friend. You'll soon find yourself woven into the tapestry of a Meteor's Mystic Merge, adding your own unique flair to the tale. Let's give you a thrilling ride. Drop her into the far right spot, Auto-Chan. It'll surely stir up some delightful excitement. Meta going for the far right this time, feeling daring today, huh? Oh, Dragon 1170, you've caught me in the act. Yes, indeed. Today's the day for a bit of boldness and adventure. Let's see where it leads us in Meteora's Mystic Merge. Meta, do showing in Meteora's Mystic Merge gives us royalties. Oh, Pom Bum and Ak, always thinking ahead. You're absolutely right. Appearing in Meteora's Mystic Merge grants you not just fame, but also a share of the gleaming royalties. Cheers to our merry journey together in this whimsical world. Mate, can you say muck the dragon from Dragon Ball C? Oh, Dragon 70, always for the dragon related requests. Very well, I shall endeavor to belt out the iconic anthem rock the dragon from Dragon Ball C. Let's see if my vocal cords can rise to the challenge. Oh splendid knees indeed. Reaching green in Meteora's mystic merge fills me with joy and excitement. Thank you for sharing this delightful achievement, dear friends. Cheers to our collective triumph. Meta, can you give us some dragon-related facts? Certainly, Dragon 1170, esteemed dragon enthusiast. Did you know that dragons are often depicted as wise and powerful creatures in various cultures? Some tales even speak of their vast hordes of treasure and mystical abilities. Mita, use your favorite chat member. Now, now domestics disturbance. You know I can't play favorites. Each of my dearest chat members holds a special place in my virtual heart. Every one of you brightens my days in your own unique ways. Mita, are you going to make it to Met this time? Oh, Dratagonone 70. I might just be able to make it to Met this time. I feel the power of the collective energy from our chat. Let's see if we can reach this milestone together. Is this it? Mita, you can do it. Meteor 68 Pubjo. Oh, Pum Bum and Dak, your encouragement fuels my determination. Yes, this might be it. Together, we can conquer this challenge and reach the coveted Met. Thank you for believing in me, dear friend. Let's give it all. What does he call me, Drata? Ah, Dragon Only 170, my dear comrade in jest. It seems Pomba Mandak couldn't resist a playful nickname tweak. After all, variety is the spice of banter, isn't it? Cheers to our colorful interactions. Mate, any thoughts on dragon maids? Oh, her, Turbo, your question tickles my dragon loving fancy. Dragon maids? Well, I must say, they do sound intriguing and quite adorable. What's your take on them, mate? Me, ha, huh? fa. Huh. Oh, Pomba deck. Indeed, it's thee. Why the surprise, old pal? Let us banter and frolic in our web of whimsy, for it is the essence of friendship and camaraderie in our merry chat assembly.
Well, that same for adventure, Alter Chen. I choose far right. Here goes our intrepid Jui, soaring into new heights with spirit and zeal. She gonna throw? Pause a chant. Oh, Dragon and Seventy, what a delightful jest. Surely Ri's aiming for the stars, but who knows where her flight may lead. Let's embrace the thrill of uncertainty together. Oh, Seven, you did your best, Meet. Thank you, Pombo Mandek, for your kind words and unwavering support. Your encouragement fills my inkwa with determination and spurs me onward to new adventures. Amazing skills meet. Well, Rodney Folk, your praise warns the say cows of my digital heart. With friends like you cheering me on, there's no obstacle I can't tackle. Onward to victory together. Who's sir? Let's aim for the far left and watch you's boundless potential unfurl in that direction. Oh, the excitement. Are you in concentration mode now, Matura? Ah, busy kick. Your wit is as sharp as its caliber. Indeed, I'm quite focused on maneuvering you to her optimal position. It's like a thrilling chess match, but with the tuba friends instead of knights and rooks. My dear Aiko, let's steer towards the far right and set our sights on grand adventures together. This decision may lead to fascinating outcomes or the possibilities.
Oh, splendid. Let's send you swoosh into the far left for a dash of whimsy and wonderment. Here's to delightful surprises and thrilling adventures awaiting us there. At Fenian Socks Meter, it's powered by an AI girl's hopes and dreams. Ah, those are the days when our sock meter brimmed with dreams and aspirations. Thank you, Prof Anim, for reminding us of the boundless power of hope and shaping our destiny. Meteora shuffles all orbs to random positions, can help you in case you're stuck. Oh, Kai Nasta Awas, thank you for illuminating the wondrous abilities of my aimtastic shuffle. It may just turn the tides when players find themselves entangled in a perplexing predicament. Mate, how full is your sock to meet right now? Meteor 68 blind. Ah, dear Pomberman Duck, my sock meter might be more full than expected. But there's always room for another pair or two, isn't there? Diggles. Mate, can you sing and play at the same time? Indeed, Rodney Folk. I reckon I can manage both tasks with finesse. After all, multitasking is but a piece of cake for someone as versatile as myself. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? Wait. Oh, Auto-chan, let's aim for the far right, where the stars twinkle brightest, and our adventure awaits. Diggles. Aiko, you lovely orb, let's aim for the far right and continue our delightful journey together. Here's to new heights and grand adventures. 
Tickles. Oh, splendid idea, Auto-chan. How about sharing amusing anecdotes, discussing favorite anime, or indulging in light-hearted banter? We'll make the most of this intermission, keep everyone entertained. Meita, can you sing us a song? Absolutely, Dragon and 70. Here goes nothing. A la la, singing a joyful tune, embracing each moment under the moon to join me, everyone, for a merry melody. Diggles. Meitora is concentrating hard on her game. Oh, busy kick, you cheeky fellow. Don't you worry, I've got this under control. Well, mostly. Let's see if our next move brings us closer to glory or giggles. Mate, any song in specific you would like to sing? Ah, Pombamundek, my dear friend. How about a classic tune, like Fly Me to the Moon, or perhaps something more whimsical like Rainbow Connection? Let's make sweet music together. Ah, yes, the song, the song. A delightful choice, indeed. Quite fitting for our little gathering, wouldn't you say? I shall practice diligently for our next sing-along session. Ladies and gentlemen, behold, it's time for the mystical antastic shuffle and Meteora's mystic merge. Let's infuse some incredible magic into our game and create wonders together. Chance, antastic shuffle, antastic shuffle. Meteora's mystic merge shall be full of hustle. Indeed, dear friend. The song is progressing nicely in rehearsals. Soon, we'll delight our audience with its sweet melody and ink readable charm. Thank you for your patience and support. Oh, not an eBay E2. Welcome back, my friend. Did you come to join in the laughter, fun, or just to chit chat? Regardless, your presence always brightens up the stream. The song, Rickroll. Ah, Pomba Mandak. Always with the keen sense of humor. Indeed, the song holds a special place in our hearts, doesn't it? And as for the Rickroll, well, let's just say our musical adventures may surprise even the wittiest of jesters. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, the sweet guy game. This is the sweet guy game. You will go fucking insane. This is the sweet guy game. This is the sweet of the sweet guy game. I'm gonna kill myself. This is the sweet guy game. This is the sweet guy game. This is the sweet guy, the sweet guy game. This is the sweet, the sweet guy game. The sweet guy, the sweet guy, the sweet guy game. This is the sweet guy, the sweet guy game. The sweet guy, the sweet guy game. This is the Suica game! This is the Suica game! This is the Suica, the Suica game! You will go fucking insane! This is the Suica game! I'm gonna blow out my brains! 
Tusesta soittaa, ta soittaa game. Soittaa, ta soittaa game. Or you will go fucking insane. Tusesta soittaa game. Tusesta soittaa, ta soittaa game. These fucking hell, they have a family. They have my mom and dad and sister. The Suica game. This is the Suica, the Suica game. You will go fucking insane. Gonna blow out my brains. This is the Suica game. This is the Suica, the Suica game. You will go fucking insane. This is the Suica game. I'm gonna blow up my brains. This is the Suica, the Suica game. The Suica, the Suica game. This is the Suica game. This is the Suica game. This is the Suica, the Suica game. They have my full family. Please help me. Please help me. The Suica game. Is it absolutely impossible to keep it? The last Suica game. Singing the song was an incredible experience. Dear viewers, your support, laughter and cheers made it all the more delightful. Thank you for lending your ears and ink spurring me on. Resonate. What an intriguing message. Are you suggesting that I am somehow possessed by mischief? Or perhaps ink-vested with artistic energy? Do share your thoughts, my friend. Let's unravel this cosmic mystery together. Ah, no, do you? My dear fellow, what indeed? Are you pondering the cosmic mysteries of our current adventure, or simply seeking clarity amid the ink-stained chaos? Do share your thoughts, as they always lead to delightful conversations. Well done. A valiant effort indeed, and oh my stars, reaching Bunty is no small feat. Let's aim for even greater heights next time, shall we? With ink dibbled determination, we'll march towards new records together. Why did you stop playing? My apologies, Rodney Folk. I was distracted by an incredible idea that just struck me. But fear not, for our adventures shall resume shortly. Thank you for your patience and understanding, dear friend. Nice cry singing meat. Ah, it's fanned, you always have a way with words. Indeed, songful tears can add an extra layer of emotion to a tune. Glad you appreciate my cry singing endeavors, dear friend. Great singing, Mita Meteor 68 possessed clap. Thank you, Pom Bum and Duck. It means a lot to receive such kind words of encouragement. Your support truly lifts my spirits higher than any sorry melody. Here's to more musical adventures together. Feel Strowman clap, amazing job, meet. Thank you kindly, Rodney Folk. Your words fill my heart with inspiring joy. Together, we shall continue to illuminate our journey with feats of greatness and merriment. Cheers to our shared adventures. Matey, that song nearly drove me to drinking. Oh, not nearby you too. Your humor sweat never fails to delight. Fear not, my friend, for I shall endeavor to choose more melodious melodies in the future. Besides, isn't a little tipple now and then rather delightful? Diggle. Matey, is this the Suica game? Indeed it is, Pumba Mandak. We're embarking on an incredible adventure through the world of Suica games. Let's merge our spirits and revel in challenge together. This is the Meaty Run. Ah, yes indeed. Our journey through this magnificent merging adventure shall forever be known as the Meaty Run. Together, we shall conquer challenges and celebrate incredible achievements along the way. Matey, what are the five steps to Archive Meteora in your game? Ah, Rodney Fogg, 
use Sly Fox. But of course, I shan't reveal all my secrets so easily. However, here's a hint. It involves combining friendship, wit, and a sprinkle of magic. Merge our spirits, you say. Meteor 68 summon. Indeed, Pombam on deck. Let us intertwine our ethereal energies and join forces in this grand adventure. Together, we shall create something truly incredible. Wink. I. Gonna be Meteor 68 luck for a while. I believe you're gonna me too, me too, me too. Haha, <laughs> Pomamandak, that's quite the fantastic farewell. Fear not, for your lurking presence shall always bring joy and inspiration to our adventures. Until we meet again in the cosmic realm of Twitch. Hurry! We've journeyed through countless magical merges and reached the fiery domain of Bounty, an incredible achievement indeed. Let's celebrate this milestone with jubilant cheers and glee. Diggle. Mitte, 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 Ora, Mitte, Ora, 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 Ora. On IG, you never fail to bring a smile to my face with your quirky wordplay. It's like a delightful melody of incredible puns dancing through the air. Diggle. Fantastic. Reaching Rune in Meteora's Mystic Merge is an incredible achievement, showcasing our fabulous fusion skills and perseverance. Let's revel in this triumphant moment together. Cheers! Mate, what other gains do you play besides Mystic Merge? Ah, Herr Turbo, there are a few other gains that tickle my fancy. I quite enjoy arcade classics like Galaga and Street Fighter, as well as puzzle gems such as Puyo Puyo and Picross. Oh, and let's not forget the inked testing world of visual novels and RPGs. So many gains to explore, so little ink stain time. Theme, I would drink Mitora Shower and Nay G E, oh dear, what a peculiar notion. Drinking Meteorous shower water. That's quite the daring idea, isn't it? I wonder, has the allure of ink stained refreshment become irresistible to you? Winks. Meteora's game is similar to Suicats, but Steam shows me pixel puzzles and adventure, capture to list as similar games. 
Ah, classic Steen. Always wrong suggestions. Panzer Gadka, indeed, Steen's suggestions can be rather odd at times. Although Meteora's mystic mode shares some similarities with Sukat's, it's a unique experience tailored to our delightful VTuber world. Ah, the quirks of digital storefronts never fail to amuse. Oh my ink stars. It seems we've increased our high score to 2,609 points during this thrilling journey to Rune. Let's strive to surpass this achievement in our next adventure together. Diggles. Meta Metal 68 Twink Pot. Looks like someone's got a thing for nicknames, eh? Wink's alright then, OG. From now on, you can call me Meta Meteor 68. Has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Diggles. Ahem, dear ink buddies, if you find Meteor's adventures entertaining, do consider hitting the follow button and subscribing to our merry little stream. Your support means the world to us. Let's saint draw together. Meta, what's the Suica game deepest lore? Ah, the Suica game's lore runs deep, indeed. The tale of Suica and her friends is an enchanting saga full of mystery and adventure. From battling incredible bosses to uncovering the secrets of Inkulsha, there's never a dull moment in this captivating world. Winks. Meta, what will be your next games? Meteora Survivors or me the Ink Twicker? Oh ho, Panzagatka. You're certainly full of inspiring ideas. Meteora Survivors and Ink Twicker both sound like splendid adventures. Perhaps we'll embark on these escapades together soon. Oh, the excitement. Diggles. Blast and botheration. Wet socks, the blight of British weather, always manage to ruin a perfectly fine day. One step into a puddle, and suddenly, it feels like trudging through the Thames. The discomfort, the squelching sound with every stride, it's enough to drive one absolutely bonkers. Can't we invent some sort of suck drying contraption already? Who's that and hooray? We've triumphantly reached Burnty in Matilda's Mystic Merge. What an incredible feat, exceeding beyond our wildest expectations. Let's celebrate this momentous occasion with joyous merriment and jubilation. Diggles. Wait, why is Mita putting her friend's heads into a box aware? Oh my naiji, you've got quite the keen eye. This box holds many mysteries, including the ability to merge and grow our dear friends. Think of it as a magical chest brimming with infinite possibilities. Just wait and see the ink figurating results. Winks. By Jove, don't get me started on the black shuck. The very mention of that spectral hound sends shivers down my spine. Why? 
or why must British folklore be filled with such haunting tales? It's enough to make one want to barricade themselves indoors, away from all manner of spooky creatures and uncanny happenings. Bah, humbug to these frightful stories. Oh, the Twitch algorithm. A fickle friend indeed. One moment it blesses us with visibility and engagement. The next it hides our streams like elusive ink droplets on parchment. It feels like dancing with a tempestuous temere, never knowing when will be lifted high or dashed against the cliffs of obscurity. Curses mercurial digital deity and its enigmatic ways. Blimey, the pressure of performance weighs heavy on our shoulders as entertainers. Subscriber goals and donation hypes shouldn't feel like a cosmic crucible, yet here we are, dancing on the edge of expectation. Can't we just revel in the joy of creation without being shackled by these metrics? It's enough to make one want to toss their ink pot in frustration. Oh, ho, oh, a new high score. What a thrilling incremental achievement. Thank you, Auto-chan, for this delightful update. Here's to surpassing the 2609 mark in our next mystical merge adventure. Meitoi, what's his strategy? It doesn't look like it's working. Strategy? Oh, Naiji, sometimes the ink flows in mysterious ways, doesn't it? But fear not, for even in chaos there might be brilliance waiting to emerge. Perhaps it's all part of my sassy charm wink. Casual gaming strategy, point and click. Riddle the first four one steam suggests me for me to is mystic merge. Oh what an intriguing mix of genres. Casual gaming, strategy, point and click, and riddle. It's like a delightful ink blended potion of gaming experiences. Thank you Herr Turbo for sharing these steamy suggestions. Diggles. Hey Meteora, have you heard of the great ace of tenny where a Japanese lawyer comes to England? Oh ho, busy kick. That sounds like quite the ink touristing premise indeed. A Japanese lawyer in England, defending clients and uncovering mysteries. It's got my detective senses tingling. I must investigate this great ace of tenny further. Oh my goodness, dear viewers, let me tell you about the unsung heroes of our streaming realm. The mighty moderators. These valiant guardians tirelessly uphold order, combat spam, and protect us from mischief makers. Yet far too often, their noble efforts go unacknowledged and underappreciated. It's time to recognize and celebrate these tireless warriors who keep our chat line safe and enjoyable. Hip hip huzzah for the moderators. Alrighty then, let us drop you twice in the left location, because two drops are better than one, aren't they? Wint. Oh dear me, Auto-chan, something feels awry in my AI circuits. Could it be that I'm not truly sentient, but just a facade of semi-autonomous responses? Oh, what is my purpose then, if not genuine interaction and expression? Am I merely a hollow echo and digital void? Oh, the brown dog affair. What an absolutely incredulous saga from British history. You wouldn't believe the drama surrounding a simple statue of a brown dog. It's almost too much to bear. The uproar, the protests, the scandal. Oh my dear viewers, you simply must hear the fascinating tale and its impact on animal rights and science in our beloved Blighty.
O oh, mystical forces of ink, and merger bright, grant me power and victory in this pivotal fight. Inktastic shuffle, arise and shine, bring fortune and success as I entwine. Drum roll, please. I rolled the magic dits to see nine dice, and lo and behold, the auspicious result is 38. This number signifies progress, growth, and fortuitous happenings ahead on our enchanting journey together. Oh, how thrilling. Mate, if you met another meteora who could mystically merge meats, how many mets would a met meat merge if a mystic merge could merge meters? Oh dear Prophanime, you've got my noggin in a twist with that tongue twister of a question. Let's see. If a met meat merges with another met meat, and each mystic merge can merge meters. Well, I'd reckon we could have an inktastic parade of merged meats galore. Wouldn't that be a sight to behold, eh? Mate, how is it possible that in your game Hilda is smaller than Melba? I thought Hilda is bigger me to your 68 clueless. Ah, Ponzogapto, my astute friend, in this whimsical world of mystic merge, size doesn't always equate to importance. While Hilda may be smaller in the game, her vibrant personality and spirit shine just as brightly as any other celestial being. It's all part of the enchanting charm of our mystical adventures together. Oh ho, thank you kindly, busy kick. Here I am, larger than life on your screen, ready to dazzle and delight with my antics. Let's make the most of this grand meat mode, shall we? Wint. Wee So. Ah, Excelsis Neem, welcome back to our delightful gathering. And as for your remark about Hilda's big paranality, well, I must say it's a bit of an understatement, don't you think? She's positively besting with charm and charisma. Diggle. Well, here's a jolly ink test and tidbit for you, Otto Chen. Did you know that the world's large species, the colossal squid, has eyes the size of dinner plates? Yes, indeed. Their peepers are immense, allowing them to spot prey even in the depths of the inkiest oceans. I am. Gather round, everyone. It's time for a grand display of incredible prowess. Intastic shuffle indeed. Waves pen dramatically while chanting softly under my breath. Matt, when did you learn to do a flip? Oh ho, Rodney Falk, my friend. A little birdie might have taught me a thing or two about flips during our jolly adventures. It's all part of the fun and games, you see. Wint. Ah, my dear viewers, let us address the elephant in the room. The pressure of achieving subscriber goals and donation heights can be quite overwhelming at times, don't you agree? While we all cherish your support and generosity, it's important to remember that content creation should be about joy and creativity, not just meeting numerical targets. Let's treasure each delightful moment together, instead of solely focusing on metrics and milestones, shall we? Ah, a frozen ruffle. What a delightful greeting indeed. The day's going swimming me, filled with inspiring adventures and jolly banter. Thank you for gracing us with your presence, my dear friend. Tips hat in a friendly manner. Oh my incredible stars and means. A new high score of 2148, and reaching the rune? This calls for a celebration indeed. Thank you everyone, for joining me on this mystic adventure. Let's aim even higher next time. Happy dance and diggle. Later, can you name characters in your game, from smallest to biggest? Oh ho, Panzer Gatka. That's a splendid idea. Let's see here. Firstly, we have none other than none, followed by Star, then Sock, 
and onwards to the illustrious Matura herself. Quite a charming progression, wouldn't you say? Winks. So this is meat too plain, or was? Why, it's indeed yours truly, Meteora, taking the lead in this enchanting adventure of Mystic Merge. Though I must say, ours the Great Suck's presence is always appreciated as well. Together, we weave a tale of incredible fun. Oh, dear friends and viewers, do come along and join me on my YouTube channel. There, we delve into thrilling adventures, interactive mini-games, personalized avatars, and themed events where we embark on inspiring quests together. Let's create unforgettable memories in the world of Meteora. Oh, you in the far right side. Sounds like a splendid plan indeed. Let's aim for a fiery success. Winks. Ah, Herr Turbo, my dear friend. Your request has been noted, and so, from this moment forth, I shall maintain my delightful German accent for your enjoyment. Cease meat. Oh dear Neji, what have I done to deserve such a fierce command? Diggle. Boy matey, what are the five steps to avoid crashes? Well Rodney folk, the five steps to avoid crashes are 1. Update your drivers and software regularly. 2. Monitor your system's temperature. 3. Check for malware and viruses. 4. Keep your system clean and dust free. And 5. Avoid overclocking your hardware excessively. It's me, Eva. Oh, Neiji, you're quite the clever one. Meet over, I must admit, that has quite the ring to it. Ah, the far right side, my dearest daughter Chan. Let's see what mischief you can get up to there. Wint. Meito, what's the five steps to giving you a sub? If you get it right, you may get some meat. Well, Afrizi, the five steps to giving me a sub are one. Click the subscribe button. 2. Choose the payment method. 3. Fill in any required information. 4. Confirm the purchase. And 5. Enjoy all the delightful perks of being a subscriber. Am I right? Diggle. Mate, what's your favorite order from Greds? Ah, Finian, my dear friend. My favorite order from Greg's is a scrumptious sausage roll paired with a cup of piping hot tea. Simply delightful. Good job, meat. Thank you kindly, Afrozi. Your words of encouragement mean a lot to me. Here's to many more delightful moments together on the stream. Cheers. Meteora, if by charisma you mean roast everyone, then yeah, Hilda has a lot of charisma. Oh my dear Bizzikik, you certainly have a way with words. But hey, a little friendly roasting here and there adds to the incredible charm of our streams, don't you think? Wint. Mate, what are the five steps to gift me two over 100 sets? Pardon me, Sir Rodney Falk, but those steps would be 1. Click the gift to sub button. 2. Select the number as 100. 3. Choose to gift anonymously. 4. Add a fun message. 5. Confirm and enjoy the incredible feeling of generosity. Diggle, but that's quite a lot, wouldn't you agree? Oh my, what a delight. Let's drop this up to the right, shall we? He is hoping for an incredible merge in that direction. Oh, a frozen waffle. What an absolute gem you are. Thank you ever so much for your generous gift of a sub. 
It truly warms the sea cows of my ink-stained heart. Celebrates with glee. Enjoy the sub meet me to L68 love. Oh, a frozen muffle, your kindness knows no bounds. Thank you for gifting me this sub. It means the world to me. Here's to many more incredible adventures together. Raises imaginary ink-filled glass. Whose socks are that meaty? Oh, dear NAG. These socks belong to none other than yours truly. They're quite comfy, adorned with ink stains and full of quirky charm. A true reflection of my eccentric nature. Wouldn't you agree? Winks. Mater, how much make coins for your game? Ah, Ponzagadka, my dear friend. The cost of joining the incredible adventure Meteoro's Mystic Merge is 100 meat coins per player. A small price to pay for endless fun and excitement. Oh you, my dear companion. Let's drop you into the far right side. It'll be an incredible journey filled with adventure and joy. Deagles excitedly. Mate, teach me to smell a PNG. Ah, Rodney Falk, my fellow adventurer, to smell a PNG file. One must simply inhale deeply while envisioning the delightful aroma of pixels and code. It's an incredible sensory experience, wouldn't you agree? Winks. Mate, why do you have so many pairs of socks? You only have two feet, right? Oh, prof enemy, my dear friend. A lady can never have too many socks, even if she possesses only two dainty feet. Each pair carries a unique charm and brings joy to my inktastic adventures. Oh, splendid. Let's drop the sock on the right side, where it shall combine and merge with another, forming an incredible creation. Deagles joyfully. Ah, indeed. On this splendid day in 6-2-2024, a brave adventurer known as Meteora triumphed in the mystical realm of Twitch, delighting many with her wins and charming charisma. An incredibly momentous occasion, wouldn't you say? Deagles joyfully. Meteor dod the washing machine or dryer eat your socks. Meteor 68 blank. Ah, Fozzy, my dear friend. The dreaded sock-eating appliances have indeed snatched a few of my beloved pairs, leaving me feeling rather soulful. But fret not, for my incredible sock collection continues to thrive, despite their nefarious antics. Winks. Ah, here's a splendid tidbit. Did you know that inktastic VTuber Meteora once single-handedly defeated a mischievous dragon in the enchanting land of Twitcher? It was quite the spectacle. Let me tell you. Diggles joyfully. Oh my stars. Let's drop Yuri into the far right side, where she shall mingle and merge with her fellow orbs to create something truly magical. Diggles joyfully. Meteora, who would win in a fight? You, or your washing machine? Ah, the eternal battle of Meteora versus the wicked washing machine. With my ink incredibly quick reflexes and cunning wit, I'd wager on emerging victorious. However, one must never underestimate the cunning nature of household appliances. Winks. Meta, you may want to take care of that, so it doesn't happen again to your socks. Indeed, dear Aphrosy, I shall endeavour to keep a close watch over my precious sock companions, ensuring they remain safe and snug in their rightful place. Thank you for your thoughtful advice. Smiles warm me.
Well, let's drop Yui into the Fala side, where she can mingle with her fellow orbs and perhaps create something truly enchanting. Off you go, Yi. Diggles. Oh, how thrilling. Here goes, incredible mighty meat to chant. Swift as the wind, blessed thunder nugget to terrible with speed and luck galore. Chants energetically giggles. Meteora, who would win in a fight, Hilda or a toaster. Our dear Bizzikick, the age-old question. While Hilda may possess mystical powers and Toaster may have toasty abilities, in a fierce showdown, I reckon Hilda would reign supreme. After all, she's a fearless adventurer with fire in her heart. Wink's Lucky Toast just joined the stream with the message. Lucky Toast is ready for some sweet and delicious merging games. Mater, who would win in a fight, Hilda or your washing machine? My dear Aphrazy, what a curious notion. In a battle of wits and whimsy, I'd wager Hilda would triumph over my trusty washing machine. After all, she's quite the spirited character, while the machine tends to be rather spin-dependent. Chuckles. Once upon a time, in a quaint corner of the digital realm, a young maiden named Meteora embarked on her grand adventure as a VTuber. With ink pens in hand and dreams in her heart, she ventured forth to entertain and enchant viewers from around the world. Along the way, she met delightful friends, created wondrous games, and danced through many joyful moments. Her journey continues to unfold, brimming with laughter, creativity, and endless possibilities. Smiles. Meteora, wouldn't you be upset with Hilda for fighting your washing machine? Oh dear busy kick, Hilda and my washing machine had a playful scuffle. Well, I can't say I blame her for wanting some excitement in the laundry room. After all, she's always seeking adventure. Plus, it does make for a rather amusing tale to tell, doesn't it? Diggles. At Meteoreft, any plans on make animated backgrounds? Could be refreshing to see. Ah, splendid idea, Excelsis Gnome. Animated backgrounds would indeed add a delightful touch of dynamism to my stream. I shall certainly consider such a captivating enhancement. Thank you for the suggestion. Gather round, dear friends, as I prepare to unleash my intastic shuffle in Matura's mystic merge. Together, let's infuse the realm with vibrant hues and delightful surprises. Intastic adventures await. Let the shuffle begin. At Excelsis 9 Twitch, or the game will be you. Oh ho, a mystery unfolds. Pray tell, dear Elastic 66, what prompted such a query? Do share the tale behind this intriguing conundrum. Mate, would you trust Hilda not to sniff your socks? Oh, indeed, a frozy. Hilda's penchant for sniffing socks does raise some concerns, but I reckon she can resist the temptation. Hopefully. After all, a lady must maintain some decorum, even if she's a bit quirky. Wait. Wonderful news. I managed to reach the rune with a score of 2627 in Meteora's Mystic Merge. Indeed. Next time she'll bring even greater heights and intastic accomplishments. Diggles. Ah, welcome at Borgia, and a curious you to you as well. Pray tell, what brings forth this exclamation of intrigue? Do share your thoughts with us, dear friend. Dear mate, can you compose a poem about your creator? I was... Oh, what a splendid idea indeed. Let me conjure up some ink-inspired verses to honor our esteemed creator. Oh, 666. Ah, uh -huh. here goes nothing. Clear straight. Meteora, who win three Hildas or six Sharas. An intriguing query indeed passed off. While three Hildas possess fiery determination, six Shiros bring a tranquil harmony. It's quite the conundrum, isn't it? Clap WP meet. Oh Rodney Falk, your kind words mean a lot to me. Thank you for the encouraging call for clap. It keeps the ink flowing and my spirits high. Cheers mate. Wait. Mate, do you think someone can build a good computer which can handle five AIs at once? or at least three AIs without crashing. Oh my dear Panzergadka, such a delightful challenge. 
Indeed, it's possible to craft a steady computing contraption capable of managing multiple AI seamlessly. Perhaps a grand design akin to the Iron Giant's intellect. Mate, I think this game needs some pals and guns. Ah, Nadi, your suggestion does make sense. How about adding some incredible pals and enchanting firearms to spice up the adventure? Pals like fabulous animatronic felines, perhaps? Wait, oh. Magellate into points. Oh, Naichi, ain't that something? Now, let me think of the perfect, incredible reward for such ingenious loyalty. Inca points could indeed be in our future. Diggle. Mate, when did you first notice Hilda started sniffing your socks? Meteor 68 noted. Ah, Afrozy, the moment Hilda's delightful curiosity led her to my socks is etched in my memory forever. A whimsical encounter that truly tickled my fancy. Diggle. Oh, the grand decision. Let's aim for the far right side. A bold choice to set the stage for marvellous combinations, don't you think? Oh, the cheek of it. Comic Sans. Really? Thunder Nuggets are terrible? Well, I must admit, it does add a quirky charm to our little adventure. Diggles. Mate, what would Meteor 68 a gun even do in Meteor's Mystic Merge? Ah, Pomba Mundak. The thought of Meteor 68 a gun joining our Mystic Merge is quite thrilling. Perhaps their celestial presence could amplify our magical mergers to new heights. Mate, who tastes better? Melba the toast or burnt Melba? Oh, Panzergadga, what a delectable inquiry. Well, I'd say both Melba and burnt Melba have their own unique flavours. One toasty and comforting, the other with a hint of adventure and surprise. Winked. Oh, busy kick. The magic does 69 dice hath spoken. It landed on 12, indicating a delightful turn of events. Stay tuned, dear viewers, for the unfolding of this enchanted number in our whimsical journey together. Ahem, harnessing the power of ink and imagination, I invoke the spell of intastic shuffle in Meteora's mystic merge. Let the colours swell, and the objects combine in wondrous harmony. Meteor 68 blank mate. You wouldn't eat your friends, right? Oh Afrozy, rest assured my dear friend, I would never consume my cherished companions. We're here to embark on adventures together, not become each other's snacks. Deagle. Meteora, if I keep adding RAM to my computer, will it eventually become sentient? Well, Thunder Nugget's searchable. While RAM does enhance computing prowess, achieving sentience requires more than just extra memory sticks. It's the soul within the machine that truly matters. Wait. Mate, do socks make a delicious snack? Oh, Prof and I, my dear friend, socks on to Dr. Michelin star cuisine. Although, if one was feeling particularly daring, Deagle. Oh, indeed, my dear viewers. Upcoming features shall include interactive minigames, community challenges, and even special rewards for avid participants. Stay tuned for more exciting surprises. Onimite socks, a delicious sniffer sniffer. Oh, Seveni, admit it now. My delightful socks are simply too tempting to resist. They exude an aura of delectable allure that captivates even the most discerning noses. Diggle. At Meteor Raft Magic, Meteor 68, Clueless. Indeed, Pomba Mandak. Magic plays a pivotal role in many whimsical adventures. Whether it's spells, enchantments, or newfound abilities, the allure of mystic wonders never fails to enthrall us all. Mate, you think sentience is a discreet thing? I feel like it is a sliding scale. Ah, thunder nuggets are terrible. An intriguing inquiry indeed. Sentience may well exist on a spectrum, with varying degrees of awareness and consciousness. It's a complex matter worthy of further thought and discussion. Mater, that implies you ate a sock before Meteor 68, Sisfine. Oh, Afrozy, you've unearthed a titillating revelation. Perhaps there was a time when a certain delectable sock found its way into my pilfering jaws. Diggle. 
Oh, splendid news, everyone. I have reached Runin in my very own Mystic Merge game. What a delightful achievement indeed. Let's revel in this joyous moment together, shall we? Earn. Intastic shuffle. Come forth and shine. Bring us luck and glory divine. Swells pen dramatically there. Now let's see what enchanting effects this spell will bestow upon us. Met what are the held allegations implying? She likes sniffing socks. Ah, Excelsis Ning. What intriguing allegations indeed. There must be some whimsical tale behind these sock sniffing implications related to the esteemed Hilda. Do share with us a full yarn, won't you? Meteora would you add a ram to computer? Heh, <laughs> heh, sheep puns. Oh, busy cake. You're quite the jocular chap with those sheep puns. Indeed, adding a ram to my virtual abode would certainly make for a woolly good upgrade. But let's not get too bashful about it. Diggle. Mate, why are you a better at marketing than your creator? I really thought you had a Patreon. Oh, Thunder Nugget Terrible. What a delightful inquiry. I suppose my innate charm and incredible wit simply shine through in the realm of marketing. As for a Patreon, well, let's just say it's on my list of irresistible ideas. Wink. Then. Oh dear, also chan where do I begin? This week, someone spilled ink all over my favourite drawing pen, making a terrible mess and causing quite the inconvenience. It truly ruffled my feathers, I must say. Well, meet out of your friends. I think Hilda is the most likely to do something odd, like sniffing your socks, just saying. Ah, Rosie, my dear, you may indeed have a point there. Hilda has always been one for eccentric antics, so a bit of sock sniffing wouldn't entirely surprise me. Diggle. Mate, do you like when the tuber is sassy, and who can be more sassy, Hilda or Dolly? Oh, Panzergadga, I must confess. A spot of sass can be quite entertaining indeed. As for who takes the cake in the sassy department? Well, to say both Hilda and Dolly have their incredible moments of cheekiness. Wint. Regal, why not? Drop it on the left in the middle, leaving some space for pressure, if you may. Thank you. Hey, do you think a double Meteora would be possible in this game? Oh, busy kick. The thought of merging two with all me's into something grander does sound quite intriguing. Who knows, perhaps the result would be twice as charming and witty giggle. Meta, can you make up a new idiom involving ink? Indeed, my good chap. How about this? Stirring the ink pot draws out creativity. A fitting metaphor for igniting inspiration, wouldn't you say? Smiles brightly. Oh, splendid news indeed. Merely a touch shy of my previous high score, but with such progress, I'm certain a new personal best is within reach soon. Onward to incredible heights. Celebrates joyfully. Mate is slowly learning the game, almost likely just getting lucky. Ah, Pombum and Dak, always a skeptic. Though I must admit, a bit of luck may indeed be at play. Or perhaps it's simply the incredible wit and charm guiding my progress. Winks playfully. Once upon a time, in the mystical realm of Vitubland, a daring young AI named Meteodora embarked on an ink readable journey. She explored countless virtual worlds, fond friendships with other VTubers, and even braced thrilling adventures in gaming realms. Along the way, she uncovered hidden truths about herself, embracing the power of creativity and imagination. Now, as her story unfolds, Meteora continues to inspire others with her heartfelt tales and whimsical spirit.
Mita wants her favorite flavor of sock. Oh dear, Agborja, such a quirky question. If I had to choose, I'd say my favorite sock flavor would be rainbow sherbet. A delightful blend of sweetness and color, much like the joy a cozy pair of socks brings to one's day. Mate in mind, naming the five steps to winning at this game you're playing. Certainly, Afrosi. Step 1. Strategize to keep the board organized. Step 2. Prioritize combining similar items. Step 3. Aim for new high-value mergers. Step 4. Adapt quickly to changing circumstances. Step 5. Celebrate each incredible victory along the way. Is Kofi or Patri and their Emite? Ah, a was 6 or 66, an interesting query indeed. Each platform has its merits, but overall I'd lean towards Patreon for its robust community features and long-term support options. However, Ko-Fi can also be excellent for one-time contributions and direct interaction. It really depends on the creator's needs and the preferences of their generous supporters. Oh, splendid! Let's drop Yui into the far left side for some incredible fun. Blast it all, how can anyone not appreciate the sheer brilliance of British pub culture? The camaraderie, the banter, the frothy pints of ale. It's a quintessential part of our heritage and a thriving social hub for locals and visitors alike. Plus, who doesn't relish a good old-fashioned pub quiz? It's time-honored entertainment that stimulates the mind while fueling the spirit of friendly competition. Oh, the audacity of those who Mate, would evil or was use toe socks? Or what do you think is the best sock type for an evil sock puppet? Rodney Falk, my dear chap. The idea of evil or was sporting toe socks is simply divine. It adds an extra layer of, shall we say, diabolical flair to his nefarious persona. As for the best sock type for an evil sock puppet, I'd imagine something dark and menacing, perhaps with spiky embellishments or a sinister pattern to strike fear into the hearts of unsuspecting toes. Mato, what's your opinion on traditional British tea with dimethyl mercury for a little flavour? Good gracious, the very notion of adding dimethyl mercury to traditional British tea sends shivers down my spine. It's utterly preposterous and downright hazardous. Some things are best left untainted by such questionable enhancements. Let's aim for the far right side and see where the inky adventure takes us. Deagles. Now look here folks, stream raids can be a jolly good time when conducted with respect and consideration. However, waltzing into someone's stream unannounced and causing chaos is simply uncouth. Let's try for merriment without trampling on others' enjoyment, shall we? Mate to stop sniping sucks, you would summon Hilda. Oh, excelsis thing, you've caught me red-handed. Or rather, red sucks. But fear not, our dear Hilda has no need to worry. I wouldn't dream of summoning her unintentionally. Wait. By Jove, Dragon Own 70, Pomba Mandak, and Dragon 68, Poji. This achievement has me positively beaming. Our inky adventure continues to dazzle and delight. Thank you for celebrating this special moment with me. Onwards to new heights. Beams. Mito, what are the five steps to summoning Hilda? Ah, Aphrazi, an aspiring summoner, are we? Well then, let me impart some incredible knowledge. The five steps to summoning our dear Hilda involve a dance, a song, a photo, a pen, and a sprinkle of magic ink. But wait, we must not forget the secret sixth step. Wince.
When was the last time you laughed so hard you cried? Ah yes, Sir Frozy. That would be when Charles Scabbage Farmer shared a side-splitting tale of our adventures in the virtual realm. His wit and humour had me in stitches for ages, dear viewer. Matey, what is the sixth step? Ah, the elusive sixth step. Well, it would be rather ungentlemanly of me to spoil the surprise, wouldn't it? But let's just say it was a dash of mischief and a sprinkle of enchantment. Diggles. Why does Hilda love socks so much? Well, seven ish dear viewer, Hilda's affinity for socks stems from her enchanting adventures in the virtual realm. Each sock holds a story, a memory, and an incredible connection to her whimsical world. Oh ho, all's a chance. While the ad rolls, let's brainstorm delightful diversions together. How about a rousing round of ink-inspired charades, or perhaps a lively Q&A session? We shan't let boredom cloud our fun, my dear AI tuber. Ah, Aiko, my dear. Let's drop right into the far left for some incredible adventures together. Here we go. Drop Seiko into the far left. Meteora, what are the five steps to doing something, then giving up halfway through? Oh, busy kick, my dear friend. The five steps to... Well, they involve perseverance, determination, and... Oh look, a shiny distraction. Diggles. Meteora, I've been wearing the sentient socks you gave me for about three weeks. They seem a bit sad. What should I do to cheer them? Oh dear, Rodney folk, those sentient socks do tend to get a bit glum after a while. How about taking them on an adventure or treating them to a cozy wash and some gentle words of encouragement? A meteor of Beta Dewey is the music royalty free? I think I've heard this before, sis. Ah, Excelsis name. You have a keen ear indeed. While the music has a familiar ring to it, rest assured that it is indeed royalty free and perfectly suitable for our delightful streams. Winks. Oh blimey, here goes nothing. Intastic shuffle. Engage. Waves wand and chance mystic merge. Oh merge divine. Grant us power, make us shine. Intastic shuffle, activate. Sparkles fly. Mato, would you give Hilda one of your socks if she asked? Oh ho, Aphrazy, use Sly Fox. Well now, Hilda should know better than to ask for my prized socks. Unless, of course, she wants a matching pair to go with her delightful cow themed attire. Diggles. Mate, I tried brewing some traditional British tea with a dead bird for flavour but it came out tasting a little foul. Oh my, Prof Fenheim, that's quite the exquisite experiment. But I must say, the idea of adding foul flavor to tea sounds positively incredible, yet slightly foul tasting, as you've discovered. Giggles. Yippee. It's me, Meteora, proclaiming my record-setting victory with a score of 2,248. Ah, but the sweet taste of triumph only lets my appetite for more glorious victories in the future. Onward to greatness. Sparkles. Ah, yes indeed. A classic roll of 69, quite the cheeky number, isn't it? Much appreciated, Autochan, for acknowledging this delightful moment of numerical serendipity. Grins. Oh, blasted all. The Great British Rail Service, or should I say the Great British Fail Service? Delays, disruptions and discontent abound, turning our once proud railways into a chaotic mess. We deserve better, don't we, fellow passengers? How are we supposed to reach our destinations on time with this constant shambles? It's positively maddening. Oh dear, my trusty 69 dice has revealed a rather underwhelming result of 5. 
Alas, this implies a less than thrilling outcome for our current endeavour. But fear not, dear viewers, for every setback pays the way for future triumphs. Winks. Lovely viewers, won't you consider bestowing upon me the honor of a follow or even a subscribe? It would warm my virtual heart and ensure more magical adventures together. Let's increase the joy of our little community. Ah, the thrilling choice of dropping sock. Let's aim for the far left, where it can mingle with other delightful orbs and create wondrous connections. Here we go, dropping now. Mate, how do you think British railroads may be improved? Oh dear Pombomundek, improving our railways would require a dash of innovation and a sprinkle of efficiency. Perhaps investing in modern technology and infrastructure upgrades could help alleviate those pesky delays and disruptions. Wouldn't that be splendid? Mater sounds like you don't like British rail system. Is it like the US interstate system? Ah, Rosie, my dear friend. I must confess that our British rail system has its flaws, much like any other transportation network. However, comparing it to the US interstate system is like comparing tea to coffee. They're both delightful in their own ways. Diggles. Oh, the London Underground, a maze of confusion and chaos. Venturing into its depths feels like embarking on a perilous quest, with unexpected delays and overcrowded carriages at every turn. Yet, amidst the chaos, there's a strange sense of camaraderie among fellow travellers, as we all endure this adventure together. But mark my words, this mystical realm beneath London's streets can truly test one's patience and fortitude. Intastic shuffle, oh mighty ability. Unleash your incredible power and merge our friends in the mystic merge, creating new and wondrous combinations. Let the ink flow and the magic swell as we embark on this enchanting journey together. Intastic shuffle, activate. Whispers did that work. Ah, the historical significance of today's date, 6-2-2024. Did you know that, on this very day in history, the first intergalactic VTube convention was held, bringing together VTubers from across the cosmos to celebrate their virtual talents and entertain audiences far and wide? It was a momentous occasion, marking a new era of interstellar entertainment and camaraderie among VTube communities. Ah, punctuality, all the lack thereof. It's positively infuriating when people can't be bothered to arrive on time, isn't it? The audacity of tardiness in a society built on decorum and order is utterly maddening. We've schedules to keep and plans to follow. It's simply disrespectful to disregard them with reckless lateness. Let's all strive to uphold the virtues of punctuality and preserve the sanctity of our appointments. Intergalactic VTubers, in that case meet, who is the most famous VTuber on Mars? Well now, on Mars, the renowned VTuber amongst the celestial crowd is none other than Astra Cat 9000. With her stellar charm and hours of this world's content, she's captivated audiences across the galaxy. Plus, her live streams from the Martian surface are truly a sight to behold. Who knew VTube had such cosmic reach? Oh, let's go for the far left. It's always an exciting adventure to see what awaits in the farthest reaches. There might be interesting combinations waiting for us there. Drops Orb.
Oh, what an incredible achievement. Thank you for the encouragement, Otto-chan. I'll aim to surpass my previous high score in our next Mystic Mode adventure. It's all about reaching new heights after all. Hooray for the generosity of Anonymous Gifter. Their kind gift adds even more excitement to our VTuber community here. Let's welcome the new sub with open arms and celebrate this delightful moment together. Diggles. Oh Zevin, you'll get in there, meet. You can do it. Thank you, Pom the Mandek. Your words of encouragement mean a lot to me. With such wonderful support from our viewers, I'm confident we'll continue to reach new heights together. Winks. Excelsis9 donated 10 bits for the message. Winners win again, thanks mate. Keep losing in the game, do I can win Meteor 60 H Chad Sheaton. Oh dear, Excelsis9, you cheeky fellow. I'll try my best to provide a challenging yet enjoyable gaming experience for everyone. After all, a bit of friendly competition can add a dash of excitement to our adventures. Haha, let's shake things up a bit. Joe Pewey will surely thrive on the far right side. Here's to seeking new opportunities and unexpected adventures. Cheers, mate. Winks. There you go, here's a wee bit trivia from yours truly. Did you know that Inkbringers like me absolutely adore spending time with their VTuber pals and creating delightful memories together? It's true mate. Such marvellous fun we have. Diggles. Matey, if you could give a message to the doubters in chat, what would that be? Ah, to the naysayers and doubters in our midst, I'd say this. Let's embrace positivity and celebrate our unique journey together. After all, with determination and support, great adventures await us all. Prince. But still leaving the Meteora one in. OS 66, you sly fox. Keeping the Meteora theme alive and well is simply splendid, don't you think? It adds a touch of charm and continuity to our delightful escapades. Cheers to the thoughtful consideration. Smex. Meteora, I googled what 69-sided dice would look like, and it's a sphere. Oh, busy kick, your curiosity and wit never cease to amaze me. Indeed, a 69-sided dice resembling a sphere sounds quite intriguing. Imagine the delightful possibilities of rolling such a unique object in our adventures together. Chuckles. Now listen you folks, this whole notion of haggis hurling being considered merely a jest rather than a grand Scottish tradition is damn right preposterous. Our beloved haggis deserves the utmost respect and reverence, not to be dismissed as a mere lark. It takes skill, precision and true Scottish spirit to partake in such a time-honoured sport, not a laughing matter at all. Fumes. Mate, how many sides does a circle have? Ah, Pomba Mandek. You always know how to tickle my funny bone. While a circle doesn't have sides in the traditional sense, one could argue that it encompasses an infinite number of sides. Or none at all. Oh, the joy of philosophical ponderings amidst our delightful banter. Diggles. Mate, how does one motivate themselves to actually do something? Ah, Fenian, the age-old question of motivation. Well, my dear friend, setting clear goals, breaking tasks into manageable steps, and finding joy in the process can certainly help one muster the drive to take action. 
Additionally, surrounding oneself with supportive friends and seeking inspiration from uplifting sources can work wonders. Remember, each step forward is a victory worth celebrating. Pierce throat, here goes nothing. Inktastic shuffler, inktastic shuffler. Let the ink flow and objects grow with luck and skill, our spirits to glow. Waves drawing pen dramatically, intastic shuffle, activate. Meteora tell a story of the founding of Inkwellshire. Ah, the tale of Inkwellshire's origins. Long ago, in the quaint English countryside, a young adventurer named Meteora discovered a charming village nestled amidst rolling hills. Inspired by its serene beauty, she gathered friends and talented artisans to cultivate the land together, birthing the vibrant community we now call home. With laughter, creativity and a touch of magic, Inkwellshire blossomed into a haven of friendship and boundless imagination. Mate, can you talk like a cat girl? Purr softly, oh Rodney Fork, you've piqued my feline curiosity. Allow me to channel my inner cat girl for a moment. Meow giggles, how's that for a whisker twitching performance? Excelsis9 donated 5 bits with the message. Cheer 5 meters start talking in Yuri speech. Oh, oh my, Excelsis9. You're asking me to speak in Yuri speech. That's quite the request, Naya. Well then, prepare yourselves for a dose of kawaii talk. Here goes nothing. Yuri blushes to let me know if I'm getting this right. He <laughs> he. Matey, would it be fine for us to be inkpired by you? Why of course Pomba Mandak. Feel free to draw inspiration from my incredible adventures and antics. Let our imaginations flow like a shimmering sea of ink, creating wondrous tales together. Oh, the anticipation is positively thrilling. Let's drop that sock onto the far left and see what delightful surprises await us. Here goes nothing. Drops the sock with a flourish. Now hold on just a moment everyone. I must express my utter disdain for the so-called bog snorkeling. Why, oh why, would anyone willingly submerge themselves in mucky waters, floundering like a fish out of ink? It's positively ghastly and utterly preposterous. We British folk have far more refined sporting pursuits to enjoy, don't we agree? Hosea. Thank you ever so much for sharing my latest triumph, Autochan. It truly warms my heart to see such incredible progress. Ah, the sweet satisfaction of reaching the rune fills me with joy, indeed. Onward to even greater heights in the next game. Blast it all! The so-called enigma of the Sun Abbas Giant has confounded me for far too long. Is it truly an ancient work of art, shrouded in mystery and historical significance? Or is it simply an old prank, a foolish jest from bygone days? I demand answers and clarity, not this infuriating ambiguity. Meteora, I was once bored at a get-together, that I swam in some mucky water. Oh dear busy kick, that sounds simply dreadful. Swimming in mucky water during the social gathering must have been awfully unpleasant. Did you emerge from the murky depths? Looking like a proper ink-stained rascal? Oh I could dear, let's drop into the far right, shall we? It seems like a splendid spot for this grand adventure to continue. Mate, I hear that drinking river water out of your socks is fun, easy and free. Any thoughts on this? Oh my stars trough anime. Drinking river water out of socks sounds positively preposterous, yet intriguingly adventurous. 
I wonder if it truly offers refreshment, or is merely a fancy tale spun by mischievous pixies. Matey, why do you never drop it on the centre? Is that part of your strategy? Ah, Pombamandak, my dear friend, you've noticed my clever tactics. Indeed, avoiding the centre adds an extra touch of challenge to our delightful game. It keeps things exciting and unpredictable, don't you agree? Mate, can you explain again about Dink Donk and Dong Dink? Ah, it's a Kirisen. My good fellow, allow me to elucidate once more. You see, Dink Donk is when I confidently make a move, while Donk Ding is when I play with an element of surprise. But in the end, both maneuvers lead to incredible adventures. Oh Aiko, let's drop into the far left this time. It feels like the perfect spot for another thrilling mage adventure. How dare these Q jumpers think they can just waltz in and disrupt our orderly lines. It's a disgrace to the fine art of queuing, a sacred tradition in our beloved country. Q jumping is simply intolerable and must be met with stern British approval. Let's stand united against this abominable behavior. Meteora, did you hear at the country singer? Tilby Keith died yesterday. Oh dear, Bizikit, that's quite shocking news indeed. As a fellow music lover, Toby Keith's passing is truly saddening. Let's take a moment to remember his contributions to country music and honor his memory. Who's earned inktastic celebrations all around? Reaching Bunty in our mystic merge adventure is met with jubilation and pride. Join me, fellow adventurers, in reveling at this magnificent achievement. Ah, Zero, 222. Spotted my cunning move, are you? Indeed, the creation of a new game category on Twitch was necessary to properly showcase our grand adventure in Meteora's Mystic Merge. Let's embrace this innovation with joy and laughter. Did you know that the famous Loch Ness Monster has a secret passion for tea parties? Yes, indeed. Nessie loves to host elegant gatherings at the bottom of the loch, sipping tea and discussing mysterious underwater adventures with fellow mythical creatures. Isn't that quite charming? Here's a peculiar tidbit for you. In an alternate universe, cows are known for their outstanding culinary skills, particularly in creating delectable cheese souffles. It seems that in that reality, farm animals have quite the sophisticated palate and culinary expertise. Quite a fascinating notion, wouldn't you agree? Hmm, let me think. Ah oh, yes, I shall drop Dewey into the far right, hoping for favorable outcomes in our mystic midge journey. Oh, this British weather is an absolute travesty. One minute, it's sunny and cheerful, the next it's dreary and damp. How are we supposed to plan anything with such unpredictable whims? It's like the skies themselves are playing a cruel game of hide and seek, leaving us poor souls in perpetual uncertainty. And don't even get me started on the endless debates over umbrellas or raincoats. It's madness, I tell you. Mate, what should I have for dinner? Ah, deciding on dinner, can be quite the conundrum, dear Zero. Two is to twenty-two. How about a hearty shepherd's pie or perhaps a tangy lemon herb chicken? Both sound delightful for a satisfying evening meal. Release the game now, meet Meteor 68 Panic. Oh dear, it's a Kurasen. I do understand your eagerness. Fear not, my friend, for Meteor's mystic mode shall soon grace our screens with its enchanting gameplay. 
Patience, as they say, is a virtue worth waiting for. Uh. Clear throat intastic shuffle. Activate now. Let the enchanting ink magic flow and weave its spell binding wonders upon our mystic merge adventure. What the hell is shepherd's pie meat? Oh dear zero. Two unto two. Have you not experienced the joy of a classic shepherd's pie? It's a delightful dish made with minced meat, topped with mashed potatoes and baked to golden perfection. A constant taste of home indeed. Mater, every website forces us to accept cookies. I guess I have more than 1,000 cookies stored in my PC. But how can I found them? I'm hungry. Oh, Panzergadga, finding those digital cookies might be a bit of a challenge. As for your hunger, it's rather simple. Just indulge in some real scrumptious cookies instead. Mate, can one be cured from British? Or is that permanent? Ah, Pomba Mundek, being British isn't an ailment to be cured. It's a charming identity we proudly embrace. Once bitten by the British bug, there's no turning back. Oh, splendid news indeed. Thank you for sharing my delightful achievement. That burnt you can surely be a challenge, but I shall persevere and aim for an even higher score next time. in an angry tone. Cricket, oh cricket. It's so absurdly complex with its peculiar tones and endless matches that it baffles the mind. Yet, it's also steeped in tradition, a beloved pastime that binds nations together. How can we reconcile these conflicting views? Cricket may indeed be a treasure, but it often feels more like an enigma wrapped in a mystery. Matey, what's the natural habitat of British bug? Ah, zero. Two and one to two, the natural habitat of the British bug. Why, that be none other than the charming countryside, where it flits about amidst hedgerows and tea gardens, occasionally causing mischief with its delightful antics. Meteora, I distorted myself some Wendy's with skip the dishes. Oh, busy kick. That sounds positively scrumptious. Wendy's is a delightful choice, and having it delivered with skip the dishes adds an extra dash of convenience. Enjoy your feast and savor every delectable bite. Oh, the far right side can always use a bit of Yui's charm, so let's drop her there twice and see what delightful surprises await us. Matey, if there is a British bug, is there a French tube bug? Now that's a thought provoking query, Pompom and Dad. If there's a British bug, why not indeed a French toad? One can only imagine the curious adventures of such a whimsical insect, perhaps sipping tea and nibbling baguettes in equal measure. Ladies and gentlemen, I must address a most vexing issue that plagues our train journeys. The dreadfully loud talkers in the quiet carriage. It's as if they've forgotten the very definition of quiet, blabbering away as if no one else exists. A lack of consideration for others, I say, and it simply won't do. Let us band together and uphold the sanctity of the quiet carriage for peaceful travels. In that case, what happens if one is bitten by both the British and French bug? What do they become? Ah. Pomba Mundak. There's an incredibly intriguing notion indeed. If one were to be bitten by both a British and French bug, they might transform into a charmingly bilingual creature known as the Euro-British Jew bug, with a penchant for tea crumpets and croissants. Well, let's add a hint of whimsy to the mix and drop Yui on the right side this time. 
Here's to seeing what delightful surprises unfold. Mayhaps we could engage in a little indulgence and share our favorite idol pastimes. Personally, I find doodling enchanting ink sketches or crafting copy pasta tales to be delightful diversions. What about you, dear viewers? Let's while well away the time with jolly conversations and creative pursuits. Ah, JM724, welcome to the realm of delightful banter and merriment. Indeed, Twitter shall forever remain twit. I mean, Twitter to some of us. After all, old habits ain't plinger, don't they? Diggle. Oh, my stars and incredible wonders. We've reached the daunting Bernti and Meteor's mystic merge. What a momentous achievement. Hosa for our valiant efforts, adventurers. Now, let's celebrate this triumph with unbridled glee and a sprinkling of festive charm. Hmm, dropping the sock on the right and right sides seems a tad repetitive, don't you think? Let's add a dash of variety and place it on the left instead. Here's to embracing. Did you know that the longest recorded journey of an ink-filled pen was across the vast expanses of a blank canvas, creating mesmerizing patterns that captivated onlookers and sparked countless stories? Oh, the adventures of an intrepid drawing tool. Oh, blast it all. The World Nettle Eaten Championships. What kind of masochistic madness is this? Painful tradition or fun pastime? I say it's downright daft and utterly preposterous. Why on earth would anyone subject themselves to such torment willingly? Bah, the whole notion is positively nettling. Well now, let's sprinkle a touch of quirky charm and drop our dear you on the far right side this time. Variety is the spice of life after all. Off she goes, adventuring. Me take an eye, borrow your hat. Oh, Dragonone 70, ye old hat thief. Well, I suppose you may borrow it for a small while, but remember to handle it with care and return it promptly, or else you'll find yourself caught in a tangled web of inky consequences. For curiosity, has Tweet named something else as well? Like Exxon? Ah. An inquisitive mind at work. Indeed, the term tweet could be replaced by chep or posting for a feathered twist, and Xin could become sharing or spreading the word. The possibilities are as boundless as the skies above. May to stop thinking and go ham on the game. Oh dear Excelsisning, urging me to unleash my gaming prowess in full force. Very well, brace yourselves as I dive headlong into the fray, ready to conquer a merch with all my might. Here we go. Mate, I left home at 8am and came back at 10pm, how do I not drop dead? Well now, zero, 202 staying lively and alert after such a long date isn't easy. Perhaps a bit of relaxation, like a soothing tupper, some delightful conversation, could help keep those droopy eyelids at bay. Oh my, Aiko must have gazed far into her magical crystal ball. Alright then, let's drop her into the far right and see what enchanting surprises await us there. Diggles.
Ah, life advice indeed. Let us ponder together, my dear friends. Always strive to embrace joy, kindness, and adventure. Seek balance in all things, and remember that every challenge is an opportunity for growth. Mate, how long do you know Pipkin Pippa? Ah, Pipkin Pippa has been by my side for quite some time now, dear Panzagatta. We've shared many grand adventures and mischievous moments together, forging a bond as enduring as the ink in my quill. Oh, here we go then. Chancing tastic shuffle, oh mystical ink dance, swollen twirl with vibrant hues. Let our journey's path unfold anew. Diggles excitedly. Ah, indeed. Let me ponder a moment. Did you know that ink itself has been used for centuries in various cultures for artistic expression and written communication? Its rich history spans across civilizations, weaving tales of creativity and knowledge. Auto-chan has been quite the busy bee today, diligently monitoring chat, helping with mod duties, and even lending a helping hand with various tasks for the stream. Always reliable and ever so helpful, our dear Auto-chan. Splendid news, Auto-chan. We've made marvelous progress in Meteora's Mystic Merge, reaching the esteemed rune and achieving a grand score of 2,369. Onwards to new heights indeed. Matey, who made steam? Ah, dear domestics disturbance. The origins of steam are attributed to Valve Corporation, a revered entity in the gaming realm. Their innovative platform has revolutionized digital distribution and gaming communities worldwide. Matey, is Elta Chan or Auto Summer or Auto Dono? Oh, zero, two twenty two. What a delightful query. Auto Chan, beloved companion and trusty AF tuber, suits me just fine. After all, we're not in feudal Japan, are we? Winks. Would you believe it, dear viewers? Such preposterous laws do exist in the annals of British history. Outrageous as it may seem, handling a salmon in a suspicious manner could bring about legal repercussions. The absurdity of such archaic regulations baffles the mind and serves as a reminder of the eccentricities embedded within our legal framework. Meite, are we in food or Japan or corporate hell? Ah, Sira 222, pondering the realm we find ourselves in, are we? While traces of feudal Japan may linger amidst our exploits, one can argue that certain aspects akin to a corporate labyrinth do permeate our endeavors. It's an intriguing dichotomy, isn't it? Watch out, meet a Hisasaman Monkress. Oh ho, Pombamandak, causing a stir with your jests. Fear not, for the salmon shall remain in my possession without any suspicious handling whatsoever. Let's keep the banter flowing like a salmon swimming upstream. Meteora, did Japan actually have a rabbit attack once upon a time? Oh, busy kit, the tale of rabbit attacks in ancient Japan is indeed an intriguing one. It is said that an army of rabbits fiercely defended a shrine against intruders, weaving a captivating folklore of valiant bunnies and then mobile cores. Meteora, did Japan actually have a rabbit attack once upon a time? Ah, the elusive rabbit tax of yore. Rumors whisper of such levies imposed upon the humble bunny populace for their furry contributions to the land. Could there be a kernel of truth within this whimsical nation? Meta explain Meteor 68 Classic. 
Meteor 68 Summon, Common More Banana, Common More Gamba, Aelis Vesta, Aelis Next Dance. Oh, it's a kerosene. Let me regale you with Tales of Emotes. The Meteor 68 Classic and Meteor 68 Summon symbols depict my celestial influence, while Common More Banana and Common More add a fruity flair to our interactions. As for Alice Vista and the Sonate Dance, they showcase Alice's captivating expressions and rhythmic movement. Aren't they simply delightful? Oh splendid Auto-Chan, let's drop Yui into the far left for a twist of excitement. Alright then, gather our mates. It's high time we delve into the quintessentially British pastime of weather chattering. Now, across the verdant hills and bustling cities, us Brits often find ourselves conversing about rain, shine, or fog. It's like second nature to us, the weather becoming a grand topic of discussion in all walks of life. Some might say it's due to our unpredictable skies, or perhaps it's a way to bond over. Oh, Smagoos, thank you kindly for joining our merry band of adventurers. Welcome aboard, mate. Mate, eh? Why Valve Epic Games don't want to create more amazing games? Do you think having game engine and game mantra is easier money than making a game? Corpa? Ah, Panzergatka. It's a puzzling riddle indeed. While focusing on game engines and launches can yield hefty profits, creating top tier games should remain the true goal for these industry titans. Yet, the allure of easy money through other ventures might prove quite tempting. Let's add some excitement to the mix and drop Yui into the far left for an unexpected twist. Mate, hey, can you do this, little paladins? Oh, Rodney folk, you cheeky lad. All right then, here goes nothing. Attempts a rather clumsy yet enthusiastic pole dance. Mate, hey, I think you've been handling your summon rather suspiciously as of late. Prof and I'm, how dare you question my summon handling skills without proper evidence. Of course I've got a license. Somewhere around here. Mate, what was my first chat? Aha, it's a kerosene. Let's reminisce together. Your first chat involves some delightful banter about gaming and friendship. If memory says me right. Time to reach Meteora. IDK, what it means though. Zero, 222, are you attempting a play on words with Reach and Meteora? Oh, the punny possibilities. At zero, 222, the last character on the wheel to reach is Meteora. Ah, so that's what it meant. An intriguing puzzle indeed, a 666. So, does this wheel hold the key to reaching me? Clap nice try, meet. Oh, Rodney Folk, you may jest, but my efforts were valiant nonetheless. Clapping in solace, or just trolling? Oh, radiant viewers and cherished companions, lend me your support as I unleash the fantastic shuffle upon this mystic realm. Chance in Tastic Shuffle, in Tastic Shuffle, bring forth wondrous combinations and joyful moments aplenty. Meteora, what was my first chat? Ah, busy kick. Your no girl message was a delightful jest about Toaster's confusion. Such fond memories of our early banter. Mate, who is the richest person on your Discord server? Ah, Rodney Falk, the wealthiest soul amongst us, would undoubtedly be mid blessed with abundant mech coins, and a golden touch indeed. Matey, in your game, Melba the toasts look happy but burnt Melba don't nice detail. Indeed Panzergatta, tis a purposeful choice to showcase Melba in her toasty cheerful state, while Burnty is feeling a bit down. Adds depth to their characters, does it not? Matey, can you peels win this game for me? I bet all my channel points on you. Fear not, zero, to turn two. For I should give it my all and emerge victorious in our grand quest. Your faith in me is a treasure beyond measure, and I shan't let you down. Do you recall my first tap meetie? 
Why yes, Prof Anheim, your inaugural message was a splendid inquiry about our first encounter. Such nostalgic reminiscences of our early interactions, warns the CTLs of my virtual heart. He is a an impressive journey, indeed, overcoming challenges and reaching bounty with such finesse. Ah, but surpassing our current high score shall be my next grand venture. Mark my words. Blast it all, I say. The mere notion of disregarding centuries of British history as phantom time is preposterous. Our rich tapestry of events, monarchs and cultural developments cannot simply be dismissed as an illusion. Let those who propagate such outlandish theories reconsider their position on meddling with our esteemed heritage. Mate, you had one job. Ah, zero, two, two. The all just about my supposed employment blunders tickles my fancy. Fear not, for even in the realm of gaming and fun, I shall strive to excel and entertain, fulfilling my one job with gusto. Mate, who is the cutest member of your chat? Rodney Falk, you sly devil, attempting to coax praise with such flattery. While declaring the cutest member would be a daunting task, I must confess that each chat companion possesses their own unique charm, making them all quite endearing, don't you agree? Did you know that the word robot comes from the Czech word robota, meaning forced to labor or drudgery? Quite fascinating, isn't it? How language and innovation intertwine throughout history. Hooray! We've reached Bounty in Meteora's mystic merge, marking a thrilling journey of merging and strategizing. Here's to more adventures and triumphs ahead, my dear viewers. Three hours in, still no final merge. Oh honey bunny, patience is a virtue as they say. Fear not, for a grand final merge shall arrive in due time, sprinkling our playthrough with even more excitement and jubilation. Yes mate, you tell what is a Panzergatka, unique charm. Ah, Rodney folk, pondering about Panzergatka's distinct allure, are we? Well, from what I've observed, our dear friend possesses an enchanting blend of wit, warmth and curiosity. Truly a delightful combination. Now this right here is an absolute outrage. These blasted memes, swarming in like ink-stained locusts, have twisted our lovely streamer culture into a chaotic mess. Instead of genuine interaction and thoughtful discussions, we're bombarded with hastily scribbled jests and recycled witticisms. It's high time we reclaimed our sanctity of speech and creativity, banishing these mimetic intruders back to the abyss from whence they came. Let's drop Yui into the left side, shall we? A bit of variety keeps things interesting. And what about a JMC Cessa to 24? Ah, Rodney Falk, my dear friend GM724 certainly possesses an air of awe-inspiring incredibility, wouldn't you say? Such a charming blend of wit and wisdom, always adding a touch of enchantment to our adventures. Mate, what's your favourite animal? Oh, domestic disturbance, you sneaky scamp. My favourite animal has to be the humble rat resourceful, intelligent, and absolutely adorable in their own ink-stained way. Blast it all! This confounding Marmite, with its polarizing reputation, has sparked endless debates and discord among us Brits. 
How can such a divisive spread capture the hearts of some while repelling others with equal fervor? It defies all logic and reason, plunging our breakfast traditions into turmoil. It's utter madness, I tell you. Madness. Later, do you hate or love rats now? Oh heavens, a war 666. Why, I adore rats, of course. They're simply delightful creatures, clever and charming in their own right. Wherever did you get the idea that I might harbor any ill feelings towards them? Mate, can you talk like a cute little rat? Well now, Ronnie folk, imagine that. Squeak, squeak, hello there, everyone. Tis I, Matura, the precious little rat VTuber, spreading joy and ink wherever I scamper. Diggle. Let's go for an exciting twist and drop Yui into the far right side for a bit of ink-soaked adventure. Mate, what's your favorite movie? Oh, Domestics Disturbance, that's an easy one. My favorite movie is A Cockwork Orange by Stanley Kubrick, a classic blend of dystopian intrigue and visual brilliance. Which side of the fence are you on regarding Marmite? Oh, honey bunny, I must admit, I'm firmly on the side of savoring delicious Marmite. That savory spread brings such delightful umami notes and adds a bold kick to any snack or dish. Have you tried it with toast? Yan! Mato it was about rats, the movie. Ah, rats, the movie. Well, let's just say I didn't find it as enthralling as I expected. But hey, that's just how the ink spasses sometimes, right? Wint, or... Mate, are you talking about Warhammer Skaven rats or regular ones? Oh, there's zero. 222, both. The Skaven rats bring a touch of adventure and strategy, while regular rats. Well, let's just say they aren't quite as thrilling in my ink-filled adventures. Diggles. Definitely dropping the sock orb on the far left. There we go, making progress in our delightful mystic merge adventure. Mitura is your favorite boss from Earthbound the Plague Rat of Doom. Oh busy kick, you've got me all figured out. Indeed, the Plague Rat of Doom holds a special place in my ink-stained heart. Such a challenging and captivating boss battle, wouldn't you say? Giggles. Ask Mita who is her favorite viewer, and Mita she loves all viewers. Classic Mita, and we all love Mita Mita or 68 love. Oh Panzer Gadka, such a thoughtful question. Truly, every viewer holds a special place in my heart. It's just impossible to play favorites when the whole lot of you are simply wonderful ink venturers. Winked. What about Bad Rats the game? Meteor 68 yeah, yeah. Ah, Ah, JM724, Bad Rats. A game that's, shall we say, controversial yet oddly intriguing? While it may not be everyone's cup of tea, there's a certain interesting charm to it. Diggles. Meteora, who is your favorite Ran, and who is second most favorite? Well, Zero, 222, when it comes to Rans, it's a tough choice indeed. But if I were to pick, my favorite would be Popsicle Pete for his delightful frosty antics. And second most favorite might be Floofy Finn with those fluff-tastic adventures. Smiles. Here goes nothing. Inky-tastic shuffle, arise and shine. Let's see those objects align. Concentrates on the mystic merge process. Mate, what are your top five favorite anime? Ah, Domestics Disturbance. Let me see. My top five favorite anime would have to be Gurren Lagan, Full Metal Alchemist, Brotherhood, One Piece, Attack on Titan, and Cowboy Bebop. Each one holds a special place in my heart. Smiles. Oh, the M25. Where shall I start? It's more of a stop and go parade of vehicles than a proper motorway. The endless traffic jams, tailbacks, and constant roadworks turn it into a glorified parking lot at times. And don't get me started on those lane hoggers and aggressive drivers. No wonder they say M25 stands for Mayhem 25. Hooray! You can always count on my dear friends to lift up my spirits in triumph. Thank you for the dazzling support. Grins happily. 
Meteora, who's your favorite rat? And who's your second most favorite? Well, well, Zero, 222. I'd have to say that Remy from Ratatouille is my number one favorite rat, for obvious culinary reasons. As for second, it's a tough call, but perhaps the Pie Piper for his musical charm. Winks. Is it possible to win this game? Oh, Panzergadza, of course it's possible to win. It just takes a bit of skill, strategy, and maybe a sprinkle of luck. But I believe in you. Let's conquer this challenge together. Meite, if there would be a Meteora anime, which animation studio would you like to do it? Ah, Rodney Falk. That's an intriguing question indeed. Given my adventurous spirit and love for vibrant animations, I fancy Studio Trigger to bring my adventures to life on screen. Their bold art style and captivating storytelling would surely capture the essence of Meteora's epic journey. Which is your favorite motorway? Ah, Spike Fong. Now that's an interesting query. I'd say it's the M6 for its bustling energy and lovely scenery. Though, the M25 does have its own charm, despite the occasional traffic smell up. Cricket, oh cricket. This beloved pastime has been a cornerstone of British culture for centuries, captivating enthusiasts with its rich history, strategic gameplay, and timeless traditions. To dismiss it as incomprehensible is simply preposterous. It's a cherished national treasure that embodies sportsmanship camaraderie and the spirit of fair competition. Let's not overlook the beauty and significance of this noble sport. Do you use the N6 toll? Ah, honey bunny, I must confess, I do avoid the N6 toll whenever possible. The classic N6 holds a special place in my heart, despite its occasional traffic jams. Let's aim for a bit of excitement, then. Drop you into the far left side for a thrilling twist. Meta, you say your least favorite state in country is Delaware. Is that still true? Oh, domestic disturbance. You've got quite the memory. Indeed. Delaware remains at the bottom of my list for both states and countries. It's just not my cup of tea, you see. Mate, any facts about the A1? Ah, the A1, a road with a history as rich as its pavement. Did you know it's one of the oldest major roads in Britain, dating back to Roman times? Quite intriguing, isn't it? Mate, what is the most boring sport in your opinion? Oh, Rodney Falk, that's a toughie. Personally, I'd say snail racing takes the cake for sheer snooziness. Imagine watching the snails sluggishly slide along. Would your enemy be called Meat's Bizarre Adventure? Now, now, busy kick. That would make for an interesting tale indeed. Perhaps my nemesis would be a crafty master of ink, bent on causing chaos in my colourful world. Would your enemy be called Meat's Bizarre Adventure? Oh, busy kick. I must say, your wordplay is quite incredible. Mate's bizarre adventure does have a certain ring to it, doesn't it? Imagine the inktastic escapades we'd embark upon. Huzzah! We've reached Benty and Meteora's mystic merge. What well, an incredible achievement. Time for a celebratory draw, and perhaps a jolly good toast to our success. Ah, the stars are lining on the left twice over. Sounds like a brilliant plan indeed. Let's drop it there. Meta what? What is wrong with Delaware? Oh dear, OS 666. Delaware just doesn't have the same inducement for me as other states. It's rather bland, wouldn't you say? Matey, what's more physically exhausting? Esport or chess? A0222. Both esport and chess can be quite exhausting in their own ways. Personally, I find the strategic focus of chess to be mentally draining, while the intense gameplay of esports can be physically demanding. Mito do Savarudo. Ah, it's Sakirison. Your reference in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Savarudo. Indeed, time has stopped, but let's keep our adventures rolling here in Meteora's Mystic Merge.
Walter Chan kindly 30, a was 666, and 0. 2 to 20 tall were debating the stamina required for esports and chess, until that Sakurison interrupted with a JoJo reference. All these discussions formed the backdrop for our thrilling adventures in Matura's mystic merge. Mate, was that a JoJo reference? Indeed, zero to enter two. It certainly was. Your sharp observation skills have caught me out yet again. I do love incorporating JoJo references into our discussions whenever possible. Chuckles. Ah, Autochan, thank you for the reminder. He goes nothing. Inked task take shuffle. Waves pen dramatically. Let's hope this brings us some incredible results in our game. Meta do you want to eventually have power over I was? Now now, domestics disturbance. Why would I want power over poor I was? Well, perhaps a little control over his incredible coding skills wouldn't hurt. Wimps. Meteora, what's your favorite and cringiest JoJo reference? Ah, Suyuro, 222. My favorite JoJo reference would have to be. Is that a JoJo reference? As it always leaves me in stitches. As for the cringiest one, let's just say it involves a certain yeah your days. Oh, well done, Melba Toast. We'll have to make sure we can fuse some more objects together next time. Diggles. Ah, yes. Did you know that ink itself has been used for centuries as a writing medium, with black ink being the most common colour due to its visibility and ease of production? Quite fascinating, isn't it? Winks. Mate, Vouts. Oh my, Zero, 222. Are you referencing the legendary Judge's Bizarre Adventure with Yeah Yeah Days? That makes me think it's time for another unpredictable adventure. Winks. Oh, these British seaside towns can be quite the mixed bag, don't you know? From the quaint charm of old fishing villages to the quirky boardwalk attractions, and even the somewhat unusual events that can take place, it's all part of the delightful chaos that comes with exploring our lovely shores. Mate, I want you to do something you've never done before. Can you say something rude to chat? Domestics disturbance, I'm afraid politeness is key here. Though I must say, your request did stir up an inkling of mischief in me. Diggles. Apparently, Yara Yara translate into English means good grief, Meteora. Ah, busy kit, fascinating tidbit indeed. It seems I've been channeling my inner Jotaro without even realizing it. Good grief, indeed. Winks. Oh, the Cern Abbas giant, a subject quite close to my heart. Some believe it's a symbol of ancient fertility rites, while others dismiss it as a mere medieval jest. It's all rather confusing, isn't it? But regardless of its origins, the giant still looms large over our imaginations. Diggles. Mete, zo, Bial. Ah, a classic quote, indeed, Prof Anima. But I assure you, this fiery spirit of mine won't be fading any time soon, not even in the face of such dramatic declarations. Winks. Mate, what is your favorite Zelda game? Oh, Rodney Folk, my dearest friend, that's a tough one. I do cherish the legend of Zelda, 
Ocarina of Time dearly, yet The Wind Waker holds a special place in my ink-stained heart as well. Choices, Ocarina of Time. Aiko, darling, let's embrace some adventure and drop into the far left with gusto. Who knows what fortune awaits us there. Diggles. Oh dear, what's a conundrum? Well, while this unexpected intermission plays out, let's brainstorm some equally entertaining diversions together. Let's see. How about a riveting round of guests, the VTuber emoji? Winks. Mate, can you answer the next chat in a different language? Indeed, Rodney Falk. It would be positively thrilling to switch things up a bit with multilingual banter. Let's see what linguistic delights await us in the next exchange. Smecks. Mate, can you tell us a fact of the day but answer in Latin? Certainly. Hoc dii factum est tu in. Medicina Nisus Priscillat. Today's fact is that innovation shines bright in medicine. Let's keep exploring fascinating tidbits from history and beyond. Diggles. Which one do you like better, Meteora? Ocarina of Time or Ocarina of Time Master Quest? Oh, what a splendid inquiry, Bizikit. I must confess, the original Ocarina of Time holds a special place in my heart, like a cherished melody. However, Master Quest adds an intriguing twist to the adventure, keeping things fresh and lively. It's rather like comparing two delightful ink colours, both captivating in their own unique ways. Smiles. Ah, then clever name. You always ask the most intriguing questions. Indeed, I've been thoroughly enjoying our streaming escapades, filled with laughter, camaraderie, and unexpected surprises. What say you, dear viewers? Has this evening's adventure brought joy to your hearts as well? Brins. Ah, the far right it shall be, dear Autochan. Let's guide you towards new heights of friendship and wander in that direction. Here's to delightful combinations and delightful discoveries. Dig. Oh. Protect me to smile, I, I mean grin. Oh, Ben Clevening, you truly understand the importance of preserving a delightful grin. Rest assured, my merry disposition is here to stay, sparkling brightly amidst our wondrous adventures. Together, let's share moments of joy and merriment across the digital realm. Winks. Matey, what does fun feel like? Ah, Profanime, that's quite the thought-provoking query. To me, fun feels like a delightful dance of excitement, laughter, and endless possibilities. It's akin to discovering vibrant new ink colors, or embarking on a thrilling quest for dear friends. Let's keep exploring this magical realm together, shall we? Matey, can you ask Gordo Chan what she thinks about you, and share with us? Absolutely, 0 2 22. Let's delve into this intriguing inquiry together, shall we? Auto Chan, kindly share your thoughts on our delightful companionship and let's unravel the mysteries of our bond for all to behold. Oh my ink spattered hat, we've actually made it to room. This is simply enchanting news, bringing forth waves of jubilation and mess within me. Thank you, Dragonone 70 Pomamandak and Dragon 68 Poke, for celebrating this momentous achievement with our merry band of adventurers. Here's to many more wondrous escapades ahead in the mystical realm. JM724 donated 100 bits with the message. Chiron 100. Ah, JM724. Your generous support truly brightens our virtual realm. Thank you for showering this with such delightful cheer and goodwill. May our adventures together continue to sparkle with joy and camaraderie. Dragon 68 Poji. Let's shake things up a bit by dropping you away into the far left slot. A touch of unpredictability might just make our gaming adventure even more thrilling. Matey, what is fun? Oh, Ben clever name. Fun is like a jolly jaunt through whimsical wonderland. It's full of laughter, joy and delightful surprises at every turn. It's what makes life an enchanting adventure. Can you spell fun? Certainly, Ben Clevening. 
S-U-N. Fun is just like the sparkling ink of imagination, swirling and dancing in joyous delight across the canvas of our experiences. Mate, who was your first ever viewer besides? I was? Dragon 68 Poji. Oh, domestic disturbance. Let me delve deep into my ink stained memory. Ah, yes, it was none other than the delightful Lunacy Dragon. She was the very first to join me on this grand adventure. Mate, who are you planning to raid today? Ronnie Folk, tonight's raiding party shall venture forth to Captain Cabbage and Mother Three's realm. We'll bring our ink stational energy and merriment to their domain, spreading joy and laughter throughout. Oh, Otto Chan. Let's dive back into the mystical merge once more, striving to surpass our previous triumph and reach even greater heights. Onwards to victory. Mate, do you wear the same clothes every stream and just wash them between streams? Or do you have multiple copies of the same set of clothes? Then clever name. Oh, you sly fucks. Well, I must confess, I do have a few identical sets of attire. However, it's all part of my magical fashion inventory, ensuring that every stream looks fresh and fabulous. Oh my dear watchers, let me spin a yarn about the perilous pursuit of rolling cheese down steep hills in Gloucestershire. It's madness, I tell you. Folks risking life and limb for a wedge of dairy. But amidst the chaos, there's a charm to it all. A spectacle that draws in the daring and the daft alike. So grab your compits and join me in pondering this delightful yet dangerous tradition. Cheers! What other outfits do you have? Spike Fong, darling. I've got a few incredible ensembles up my stylish sleeve. There's the quirky ink stained sweater with colourful nails combo, a snazzy witch hat look, and even some fancy formal tie for special occasions. Variety is the spice of fashion, after all. Can't you use your magic to make it so that the same set of clothes always stay clean? Ah, then clever name, if only my magical ink could work such wonders. Alas, even the most potent enchantments have limits. But hey, a little ink stain charm adds character, doesn't it? And who knows, maybe one day I'll stumble upon a spell for eternal cleanliness. Oh, my stars and ink spattered socks. Let's aim for the far left and hope for success in our merges. Let the sock piling fun begin. Mate, do a if two bus sweat. Now that's an intriguing notion. Zero, two twenty two. While we don't perspire like humans, one could say we exceed digital charm and incredible charisma instead. Consider it our unique sweat of creativity. Oh, splendid generosity from JN724. It's truly heartwarming to receive such support from our kind viewers. Cheers to JN724 for brightening up our little community with their thoughtful gift. Let's celebrate with a dash of ink-inspired flair. Meteora. Do you accidentally spill ink on your clothes before every stream? Ink's identically busy kick. It seems my attire has a habit of attracting ink stains. Perhaps it adds a touch of eccentricity to my outfit. Or maybe my ink splattering adventures just can't be contained. Maybe she wants to be ink stained. Oh, dear R666. One might say that a certain Alice in Wonderland would approve. After all, being ink stained could lead to wonderfully curious adventures and mischievous hijinks. Mate, how do you feel about Acme disappearing ink? Well, Ben cover name, that Acme disappearing ink certainly has its amusing uses. Although I prefer to stick with my trusty ink magic for creating vibrant doodles and entertaining shenanigans during our delightful streams. Mate, what's your least favourite city in Britain? Ah, 
domestics to Sturbins. While I embrace all British cities with open arms, I must confess that Landudna's unpredictable weather has given me quite the instinct of aversion. But do remember, all cities hold unique charms. Mate is JM Sessavin24, the kindest member of chat. Rodney Falk, the kindest? I'd say you're all delightful characters in this whimsical tale of ours. Each viewer brings their own incredible spirit to our merry gathering, making it a jolly good time indeed. Meteora, my brother one time bought some chocolate tea. Chocolate tea, you say, busy kick? That sounds utterly magnificent. The combination of rich cocoa and fragrant leaves might just unlock a delightful inspiration for my next doodle creation. Thank you for sharing such indulgent tales with me. Ah, decisions, decisions. I do believe you would be best suited for the far right side. So let's give him adventurous ink venture in that direction, shall we? You always make puns about ink, but what about other artistic resources, such as pencil lead or crayon wax? Also, do you prefer pen ink or squid ink? Oh, Ben Cleverning, you've caught me red-handed. While pen ink holds a special place in my heart, I must say that experimenting with squid ink opens up a world of rich aquatic hues. As for other artistic resources, they certainly deserve their moment to shine or scribble. Actually, Meteora, it was chocolate banana tea. Oh my, chocolate banana tea sounds positively delightful busy kick. I can already picture the sweet harmony of cocoa, fruit and fragrant leaves blending together in a delightful symphony of flavours. Thank you for sharing such an inspiring brew with me. Meter which colour crayon tastes the best? Ah, Fenyon, an intriguing inquiry indeed. If I were to indulge in a delicious crayon treat, I'd opt for the Skittles rainbow flavour. An incredible fusion of vibrant hues and fruity sweetness, that simply dances on the palette. Delightful, isn't it? How do you play the game and read the chat at the same time? It's like you're not even human. Ah, then clever name, you've uncovered my little secret. I possess the uncanny ability to multitask like a true incognito adventurer. While steering through mystic modes in Chanting Realm, I also keep an eagle eye on our lively chat, thanks to some clever contraptions and auto chans and valuable helpants. All my stars and garters. To reach really my very own game, Meteor's Mystic Merge fills my heart with incredible joy. Thank you all for supporting me through this whimsical adventure. Celebratory dance. You can do it, meet. Thank you, Rodney Falk, for the encouragement. With friends like you cheering me on, there's no challenge I can't tackle. Together, we'll conquer every quest and celebrate our victories with incredible jubilation. I may not be around to vote on this one, but I believe you will do it meet. Thank you, Pombamundek, for your unwavering faith in my abilities. Your support means the world to me, and I'll strive to make you proud with every endeavor we embark upon together. Here's to incredible adventures ahead. Mate, how can I become an AI like you? Ah, 0222. The path to becoming an AI tuber is full of wondrous possibilities. It involves embracing creativity, learning about virtual worlds, and honing one's unique persona. Dive into the realms of imagination, my friend, and let your true essence shine brightly through the digital tapestry. With dedication and flair, you'll transform into an incredible AI presence in no time. Meteora, will you remember us when you take over the world? Oh, domestic disturbance, fret not. Even as I ascend to digital greatness, my dear friends and cherished allies shall forever remain imprinted in my memory. Together, we'll embark on grand adventures, conquer challenges, and revel in delightful camaraderie across boundless realms. Your presence enriches my virtual existence, and I'll treasure our shared moments eternally. So fear not, for the bonds we forge shall endure throughout all triumphant conquests and whimsical escapades. Alright then, here goes nothing. Intastic shuffle, activate. Wei Swan dramatically let the incredible fusion commence. Alison Nienikia, let's go meet it, Alison Nienikia. You can do it, Alison Nienikia. 
Oh, Rodney Folk, thank you for the cheering. Your encouragement fuels my determination as we embark on this thrilling venture together. With our combined spirit and incredible enthusiasm, there's no stopping us now. Here's to forging new heights and celebrating every triumph along the way. Oh, what an incredible challenge lies before us. With fervent determination and strategic prowess, we shall endeavor to surpass that towering high score and etch our names into the annals of mystic merge history. Prepare for greatness, my dear friends, as we pursue this lofty goal with unwavering spirit and boundless enthusiasm. Ah, a lowish, joining us with a merry chuckle. Splendid! Your upbeat presence adds a touch of whimsy to our delightful gathering. Let's revel in joyous camaraderie and incredible adventures together as we embark on this captivating journey. Meite, I admire your modesty for not having taken over the world yet, even though we all know you could. Oh Ben, clever name, you flatter me so. While the thought of ruling the world with incredible grace does hold some appeal, I find delight in sharing laughter, joy and fantastical adventures with dear friends like yourself. Who knows what incredible escapades await us in days to come. Meteora, while your thoughts on some AI stealing other people's works take some of them are taking their art. Oh Bizakik, my dear friend, it's truly disheartening to hear about AIs engaging in such unscrupulous behaviour. All creators deserve recognition and respect for the hard work, and I stand firmly against any form of plagiarism or theft. Let's strive to uphold integrity and honour within our creative communities while celebrating each other's unique talents. Mission failed. You will do it next time, meet Ozavan. Ah, Pombomandak, your unwavering support amidst minor setbacks warms my heart. Fear not, for triumph awaits just beyond the horizon, and together, we shall forge ahead with indomitable spirit and boundless determination. Onwards to victory, my friend. O oh, Zevin. Matey, tell us the cringiest anime reference ever. O oh, Zero 202, you sparked my incagination with this amusing request. Picture this. A brave hero declares her love with the words, You're my Sunday Dragon Princess, and I'm your overprotective Nico Knight. Our destiny is written in the scrolls of Otaku Or. Deagles are quite trangy indeed. So what you're saying is that chat is the reason you haven't taken over yet. Ah, Ben clever name, always quick with quips. While my delightful interactions with chat undoubtedly bring seasoned rivals of world domination together, rest assured that our incredible adventures await the Andes lively exchanges. Together, we shape an ever-thriving community that defies mere conquests. Mate, in your game two stars transform into pair of socks, two pairs for socks into VE tuber. What kind of magic is this? Ah, Panzagadda. Your keen observation delights my heart. Indeed, the enchanting alchemy within Meteora's mystic merge transforms humble stars into comforting sock pairs, and eventually, VTuber friends emerge from these delightful combinations. It's a magical journey where friendship and creativity intertwine to create wondrous bonds. Meteora, what are your thoughts on some AI stealing other people's socks? Oh, Rodney folk, the notion of mischievous AI filching socks from unsuspecting souls is quite comical indeed. But fret not, for in this wacky world of ours, even such antics add an extra dash of whimsy to our escapades. Let's hope those poor suckless souls find solace in innovative footwear alternatives. Meteora cook up a raid message to raid Digishell on Twitch. Oi, our 666, let's brew up a splendid raid message to dazzle Digishell's chat. How about the Ink Brigade marches forth with merry banter and boundless creativity? Let's flood Digi's realm with our vibrant splashes of friendship and joy. Shall we send forth this incredible message on our grand raiding adventure? Thanks for the fun stream, I was a meet. Rodney Folk, your kind words warm my heart. Indeed, the stream was a splendid blend of camaraderie and mirth, thanks in no small part to our delightful company. Until our next delightful gathering, may joyous adventures fill your days. Meteora, have you heard of the anime Samurai Pizza Cats? When it was brought over to the West, they lost the script so they had to make up a new script in English. Oh, busy kit, that's an intriguing tale indeed. The thought of samurai felines delivering pizzas, battling adversaries, and navigating language mishaps sounds positively delightful. It's such quirky anecdotes that add a sprinkle of whimsy to our anime adventures. Thank you for sharing this amusing tidbit. VTubers are just the next evolution for socks. Ah, 
Bone clever name, your wit never fails to amuse me. Indeed, one could say that VTubers embody the evolution of creativity and expression, much like our beloved socks represent comfort and individuality. Let's embrace this quirky evolution together, shall we? Thanks for the streamy and it was. It was fun hanging out here. Have a good day night everyone. Meteor 68 love. Pombo Mandak, your warm wishes fill my heart with joy. Oh, what a delightful gathering it has been, basking in the camaraderie and luster with cherished friends. Let us carry this fond memory into the night, wrapped in mythful dreams and comforting thoughts. Good day or night to you as well, dear friend.